And we're live. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the closing show. So this shit right here is staying right here all year. But this shouldn't be stressful at all. That's when I'm under just because he wouldn't give it to me. James Private Stock Lead. But it's, let's go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a real treat for you guys. For those of you who are brand new, welcome in. And for those of you guys who are repeat customers, repeat viewers, you guys are ready to rock. You guys already know what's going down tonight. It's been blasted all over social media, and this one is big. Now, for those of you guys who have been following along our show a little bit, you guys might know that RJ, just a couple weeks ago, absolutely dismantled his last competitor, Scotty Barons. And to be honest, we weren't really sure if there's anybody else who was even close to coming up to him. Sent some call outs out and nobody wanted to take the bait. Everybody was getting scared in the face of greatness. So we had to go to the next best. The one and the only Munif Saza decided to take up the mantle and figure that he would uh, try and fight RJ head to head tonight. If you guys don't know, last year in October, there was another event that went on and it was called the uh, the Closers Olympics. And it was a uh, it was a bracket style matchup where these, these closers would go head-to-head -head until they finally got to the end bracket and closed, and Munif came out of nowhere. Coming out of the sub-two community, nobody knew who he was at that point, but he made waves. In the initial day, he just dismantled everybody by getting two contracts locked up in 30 minutes, never before done on the Closers Olympics. Absolutely insane. And nobody had heard of the guy. Day two comes around, and he just dismantles the competition once again. And then day three, as everybody should know, RJ ended up coming in and taking the crown. But these guys have had some beef going on now because Munif, you know, there's some whisperings that he thinks that he was cheated and that some of the judges were too harsh on him and that some of his uh, some of his dealings should have been counted, even though they weren't. Some people said that RJ's uh, last minute contract that he got wasn't a real contract. It was too soft, you know. And so uh, I think today we're just going to let him go head to head. There's going to be no contest at the end of today. There will be a clear, defined winner. Without further ado, let's bring the two guys on. We got Mr. RJ Bates and Munif Saza. What's up, guys? Hi, guys. Thanks. Oh, for man. Question. I love Liam missed his calling. He should have been a, a WWE. Yes. <laughs> He's straight up making shit up. <laughs> we even got robbed. Yeah, no. I, <laughs> you made all, so much of that up. But I love that. Like I want that to be the story, right? Like You're I right. want, like I want that to be the bit. Like I was dropped. Should have gotten like like RJ's contract shouldn't have counted. Like that's amazing. I love it. I was there and I was questioning what happened. Hey, uh, Munib, I got a question for you. Yeah, man. Uh, did you uh, did you pee before you came on? I did. I did. There you I, go. See? I bro, I did. I will never not pee before. Mark <laughs> I love it so much. For, for those of y'all that don't know what that joke is, during the Closers Olympics finals, Munif didn't realize that it was an hour long. And so when he hit his 30-minute mark, he was, like, literally in pain, like physical <laughs> pain. And, like, I have to use the restroom. <laughs> Can I go use the restroom real <laughs> quick? <laughs> and, and RJ's there, like arms crossed. He's like, rookie mistake. <laughs> like, what is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh man it was oh, it was good man. times good times that was great that and like rj's never let me live that down every time i'm like <laughs> with him he's like did you pee <laughs> i did <laughs> well hey i appreciate you coming on here so the the background of this is is um like munif and i we we had a good time at the closers olympics yeah. and and i very much look at Munif's run in the 2021 Closers Olympics, similar to mine in the 2020. Like, I, I felt like I was probably the biggest underdog. No one knew who I was in 2020. I came out, I got the two verbals in the 30 minutes, and it was like this big ordeal. And and suddenly everyone knew me as a closer at that point in time. And I feel like the same thing happened with Munif. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of just skyrocketed his brand, and everybody knows who he is. And... Uh, so I, I, I wanted to bring him back on here, not only because he's a great closer, but also because I think he has a completely different style than me. And, and I think it's going to be super educational for people to watch both of our styles, how they can both be successful, but also that you just be yourself. I mean, yeah. I think that's the one thing I love about Munif is he literally was just himself on all these conversations. 
uh, that he had with Sellers during the Closers Olympics. So I'm looking forward to tonight's battle. What you guys will see is that their styles are so uniquely, I mean, distinctly different from one another. Like, they could not be further apart. Like, this is like complete polar opposites on both sides of the aisle. RJ is super direct and to the point. Mooney, if you know, I'm kind of interested. How would you describe your own style? Um, fun and friendly. Like, that's just it. Like, I think, <laughs> like, 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 real talk here, right? Like, I think the closes Olympics, what I love about it is it's a sales competition. And a lot of the judges, performers, and even just viewers are sales coaches, right? So they understand sales. RJ himself has a sales training program. And one thing that I want to be to make very clear is my sales techniques, in my humble opinion, are actually maybe about average. I really think so. I think like I'm not the best salesman. I think I have a lot to learn. That's why I look up to guys like RJ to uh, Steve Trang, to Max, to uh, Steven Morales. I look up to these guys because they, they've mastered their sales techniques. What I have is this ability to open up a conversation, to be friendly, to mirror. And those things, I I've been able to use them to play to my advantage. And like, I personally think like a lot of the judges like that because it's kind of fun to watch. Like just a seller open up, that's very entertaining. And I think I, I scored a lot of brownie points that way. Um, so like, but by no definition, do I think I'm the second greatest closer in the country? I think I'm average as a salesperson, right? So if you like, you're going to watch this and you're going to say, Ooh, like Manif should have done a pull away or Ooh, Manif should have like anchored. And those things are things I'm working on constantly. But what I've managed to master is my ability to build rapport and be friendly and fun with the seller and just open them up. So you might see some of that here. I think fun and friendly. That's like a perfect way to describe it. Like every, even in all the text conversations, everything about Munif is just like, hi, <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. It's, it's all so pleasant. Yeah. That's, that's a really good way. RJ, how would you describe your style though? Um, I, I think I'm more of a chameleon than people actually give me credit for. Actually, um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to just mirror whatever's thrown my way. And I think I take that to an extreme. Um, we saw that last week where the guy, you know, he was he was kind of cussing me out, was was uber aggressive and and I was just as aggressive back. Mm -hmm. um, I think people hold on to those moments probably more than anything because they're the wow TikTok real moments. Um, but I think we've also seen where there's, you know, critical financial uh, desperation moments where I've been able to have a lot of empathy and kind of walk them through that process and how I could be a solution for them. So. Uh, for me, I, that, that's what ideally I try to be as a chameleon throughout the process. You know, something I think I do want to touch on, because we've got a lot of people in here who are pretty new to real estate. And they might be coming from backgrounds that they don't feel qualifies them to do real estate at all, or that it's not going to be a good match because of their previous backgrounds. Now, RJ, before you got into real estate, what were you doing, man? So I was, uh, I was selling roofs remodels i was a contractor for investors mm -hmm. so you had that connection and munif how about you man oh man I, I i was actually an engineer i was a cybersecurity engineer doing um code behind a screen never doing that stuff again <laughs> i don't like that <laughs> a complete switch up but you guys you can see that in any sort of background, you can figure out your path in real estate. And even if it isn't yeah. being closer, there's so many different roles that people can play in any different organization or business. Um, some of the most skilled people that I know, they stay completely out of the scene. And they are just the ones analyzing deals, building teams, building systems, creating all that stuff. So it is, uh, it is. There, there's a spot for everybody if you want to make it for yourself. You can make whatever role you want. And speaking of creating stuff. I do want to share with you guys before we get calling. And I know you guys want to see that. So we'll show you guys that in just a moment. But I want to show you guys where we're getting all the leads from today. We're getting them from right here. iSpeedToLead.com, the motivated seller leads marketplace. This is without a doubt the best place to get leads. You can go on and have no lead. And within two minutes, you can have somebody who you're talking to who wants an offer on their home, right? Let's say you live in Nevada, right? Oh, here, let's do Nevada, right? We can do Nevada. And right here, we can see that right here, we got Julieta D in Las Vegas. She wants to sell her home. Retirement, her property is in good condition. Uh, there's no repairs necessary. It's tenant occupied, but she wants to sell ASAP. 
And now I'm thinking about this. And for somebody like Monif, who's a master of creative finance, this is going to be such a good deal for somebody like that. So you can come in and this is somebody who's noted that they want cash for their home. They filled all this out. They're just waiting for somebody to get in contact with them. And what this was filled out just yesterday. Nobody's got the contact information yet. So this is the best platform without a doubt. And then let's say you want to dominate a market. You can even come into the auto buy here. And what you can do is you can set it up so you can actually just set some budget, whether that's, you know, a thousand, two thousand, ten thousand, a million dollars. And that way we can actually put extra spend into, into those specific markets. So you can come in and actually just completely own those markets. And all the leads are going to be going to you in a round robin fashion with any other auto buyers in that market. So this is the platform that we are getting all the leads for um, that these guys are calling today. And so a little bit about the format of the competition. So these guys are going to be going back head to head in a dial for dial fashion. Munif calls, RJ calls. Doesn't matter if they get a voicemail, if they get an answer. Doesn't matter for any of that. It's just going to be back and forth. Now, for three points each throughout this entire, uh, throughout the competition, they're going to have an opportunity to go and pick their own specialty lead on iSpeed to lead. And we're just going to go through and show you guys the process of picking out that lead and why they chose it. And so they're going to get those three bonus leads. And those are going to be brand new, high quality, much higher quality. These are going to be like the real expensive leads that people really want to get their hands on. So other than that, guys, I mean, I think we're probably pretty much ready to get dialing. Like everybody's kind of uh, wanting to get into that. Munif, you're up, bud. Oh, that's amazing. I'm so excited. It's so funny. Like, so first of all, like, um, Liam, dude, you did such a great job of like explaining the um, iSpeed to lead and just like how people can buy lead from there. I've never used iSpeed to lead before, but it's very impressive. Like, it's a very impressive system. I'm, I'm pretty you. excited. Um, it's so funny because I'm actually, I like registered. Um, I don't know how to use your referral code, RJ. I wanted to use your code. Um, I don't know how to do it. No worries. Uh, I I registered and it's funny because like there's a lead right now in Kaufman, Texas, and I have an active flip that's listed on the market in Kaufman, Texas. So like that's really cool that like I can actually use that as one of my bonus leads and call that lead because I'm familiar with that area. So that's really do you cool. want to open up with that lead right now? You can do you can start off with the bonus lead, start off strong. Yeah, let's do it. That'd be Fantastic. Dope. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do, guys. Go here. Kaufman, Texas. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at it. It's like uh, he's like a tired landlord, and he's like wants to sell him the next month. He's owned it for a long time, so I'm, I'm like really curious to. I think so you've it's got June. June W from Coffee, yeah. Texas. Tired of being a landlord. The property's in fair condition. There's paint inside, paint outside, cabinets, landscaping. So pretty simple repairs. It's tenant occupied. They want to sell in a month. They own the property. They've owned it for thirty to fifty years, and it's not listed on the market. So the process is this simple. You click buy, you choose how exclusive you want it. We'll do it for one hour. You go to payment, you pay, you go to your leads list, and then you open it up. And I would love to open it up here. Then everybody's going to get that information. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And then Munif, I'm going to put it in. If you see on the spreadsheet, there's a spot for you guys' bonus leads. And I'm just going to upload that into your first slot. Amazing. You got this down to a science, Liam. Like you're really good at like navigating all this stuff. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. You're really there good. you go. So now you've got it in there. Okay, I see it. Yep, it's in my first slot. Okay, perfect. Cha ching. Um, it's a little, it's a little challenging to grab that address because I want to also look up. Uh, uh, I think it's. Which I want to pull it up on like PropStream or Zillow or something. Technical difficulties, guys. You would think I would know my way around a computer, but. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some of my engineering buddies and uh, other tech people. I know you've met you've met Aya Hosh before, right? Aya and Sujit. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yes, they are tech people as well, and they're getting into the real estate game, and they are crushing it. That's amazing. Okay, I think I, I think I have it. Okay, cool. I think I'm just gonna call the seller right now. Let's do it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Um, I don't know how you guys typically do it, but I'm gonna like mute you guys so I can't hear you, and then um, if you need me, um, there's a private chat inside of uh, Streamyard that you can. Okay, probably... you can use me for the private chat. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Thank you. 
We got Mr. Daryl Ellison. I'm doing a flip from high speed right now. It's fantastic. Justin. Oh, we got the guy Patrick. What's up, man? RJ is also a straight problem solver and immediately hones on that. That is true. That is true. Hi, June. Yes. Hi, this is Munif. How are you? Uh, hang on a minute, sir. Call me right back. Sure. I'll call you in 10 seconds. <laughs> I think I called her while she was in the bathroom or something. I'll call her back and like. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show. This is amazing. All the people want to in the restroom. <laughs> she sounds so friendly. I love, um, oh wow, people are in like the comments. Like you can actually see the comments. I see Daryl here. Daryl was actually on the show, wasn't he? Like not too long yeah. ago. Yeah, he was. Wow. Daryl is amazing. I met, I got to meet Daryl in person a few times and he's just got such good energy. We've got Mr. Faisal Islam. Isn't that your cousin? That's my cousin. Yeah. He's Faisal. a cool guy. He's so funny. So, so I was talking to Manif about a, a creative deal I potentially had in, uh, in Phoenix. And then he referred me over to Faisal because Faisal, I believe, was looking to move to Phoenix. Yeah. I get on the phone with Faisal. You guys sound just about the exact same. You guys have like <laughs> the most similar personalities. It's like an exact copy of one another. <laughs> He's the best. He's the um, family favorite. Oh, I'm gonna man. Call, I'm call her back. I'm there you gonna go. Call, I'm going to call June back. All right. And if June is not ready, we'll just, um, I'll call her later and then RJ can make a call and we'll just. Yep. And sub two is in here supporting strong. Derek Barton says, where else is there a chat on uh, RJ Bates YouTube speed lead? Hello. Hi, June. Is this a better time? Uh, what, are, hang on a minute. Uh, are you talking about my house? Yeah, I'm calling back your house. You filled up a web form on our website. Yes, sir. Yeah. Is this a, is this a good time to talk? Yeah, for sure. I'll call you back in 15 minutes. No problem, Jim. All right. All right. Bye bye. Monique, right. what happened to your mustache, man? Oh, um, it got scared. It was like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna run away. I gotta I gotta get on screen with RJ. I gotta run. <laughs> I'd have some clip about it, but I, I'm I'm in no position to make any comment. Sorry, I missed your call. Please leave your name and number at the tone. I'll return your call. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hi, Lisa. This is RJ Bates calling you about your property on 113th Street. Um, you had entered it on our website saying that you're looking to sell that property. If you could, give me a call back at 817-710-8689. And again, this is RJ Bates. Thank you. All right, buddy, go ahead. Awesome. What's up? And everybody, I'm putting a poll in the comments right now. I want you guys to, to vote for who you think will win. Who you think will win. Um, hmm. So RJ just called, I think, Brad, right? So I'll call no, no, no. I, I, may, I turn mine red when I call him. Oh, you turn yours red. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it, got it. So there's one. Daryl's voting Munif, Carlos Munif. Can't see oh, RJ I Dub, but I do love the kid. <laughs> We've already done this before. We know who wins this. All right, let's see. 
Let's see. Let me call. Damn back. it! Why is this guy so nice? <laughs> <laughs> it makes it really hard to beef with him, man. <laughs> I we so need- I use this in my negotiations, right? Because <laughs> like like when I'm like if I want something from somebody, please. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say no to him. Yeah, we got to get somebody on who has an ego to be hurt because that way you know, it creates some more tension. And he's like, oh, okay. Man. RJ, you're going down, bro. I got you. <laughs> you're going, you're okay. Going all right. You're the worst shit talker of all time. <laughs> Put the phone call someone. I'm, I'm coming for you, bro. I'm coming for that crown. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just warming up right now. You'll see. <laughs> all right, I'm making my call. You probably can't see Daryl's comments because he's probably on a different chat. We were, we're live streaming this on both Speed to Lead and RJ Bates' YouTube channel. Oh. I hung up. Let's call him again. Okay, so uh, RJ, you are up. And in the meantime, make sure you guys are putting comments. Make sure you guys are putting your questions in the comments. That way, in between our dials, we can answer them. Please leave your message for 9032695438. Hey, George, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property over there on Silverton Drive. If you could give me a call back, you had entered it on my website saying you're looking to sell. I'm definitely interested in it. If you could give me a call back at 817 710 8689. Thank you. All right, buddy. Lucas, these are all PPC leads, and these are provided by iSpeedTilly.com. Use the link in the description to sign up because then RJ gets money. I, I, I tried. I actually really tried to register, but I wanted to use RJ's referral code. But I, I wasn't if, you use the, if you use the link in the description, it automatically applies this code. Nice. nice. I got you, RJ. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Angel says, Munif would do great as a therapist. He has that calming voice. RJ has that booming, commanding voice. Sell me your house. (laughs) RJ is a a Viking man. Justin says, how long are they going head to head for? 62 hours straight. Take that pace. <laughs> 26 hour streets for babies. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Four, zero, six, four, nine, three, two, seven. Three, seven, is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. Hi, Tracy. This is Munif. I'm calling about your property on uh, Sherwood Street. Give me a call back. My phone number is 571-274-4087. Bye. Yeah, you're up. You know what I really want to do, Liam? I want to change the, the the trend. I want to get a contract in the first hour. There we go. Yeah. Now you said it's going to happen. It's going to be right now with Chuck. There we go. Mr. Chuck. RJ is an amazing manifester. <laughs> Come on, Chuck. Hello. 
box belonging to 949619. Full mailbox. It's never Tricky good. Home buyers, say for someone who only closed about eight deals in two years, how many leads do you think it would take to close a deal? Depends on how long you follow up, to be honest. If you follow up well, you can get a pretty high percentage. RJ closed one in seven with no follow up at all. Belonging to that's right, Dennis. I'm kicking in 1980s over here. <laughs> you know, I remember. So, what, is are you live on TikTok too right now? I'm not. Okay, isn't is that why you switched to using the dial phone? It, it was, yeah. And, but I, I literally, they kicked me off and they threatened to shut down my account. So why? Uh, because people were saying I was harassing people. Oh what? my god! Even though these are inbound leads, I'm yep. like. They filled a web form up, so I don't I understand. Know. And I literally was explaining that in the live, so it's crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Um, so I got a I got a question, right? So um can you guys hear me? Yes, yes, yep. yes. Oh, okay, great. Um, so I got a question. So like there are properties in places like Wisconsin that mm -hmm. I've like I don't buy there, so I don't know if I can dispo there, right? So maybe like, with me, bro. Yeah, Dude, RJ, nice. Yeah. All right, cool. <laughs> you can dispo everywhere, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. All right, cool. All right, this is uh this makes me feel better. You you're like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this deal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where. <laughs> well, what am I going to do? Like, I don't know if I can ethically call the seller, but um I got RJ's got my back. So I'm way more confident. Corey said, what's the difference between prices? I noticed some are higher than others. Are the higher prices better leads? They are priced based upon market competition as well as motivation. The more motivation indicators are on the lead, the higher the price is going to be. So a lead that says it's listed on the market versus a lead that like the house is falling apart can be two different prices. Hi, it's Lori. Please leave me a message. I'll get back to you as I'm going to double dial Lori. Actually, there we go. She's there. <laughs> yeah, just says the more you pay, the nicer the seller is. Hi, it's Lori. Oh, she's ignoring me on purpose. I'm going to triple dial her. All right. Sometimes you have to push people a little bit. Yep. Okay, she really doesn't. Uh, want yeah, she's busy. <laughs> Can you look up how many buyers we have in Indiana? If you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. To leave a callback number, press five. Hi, Lori. It's Munif. I tried calling you a couple times. Um, I'm calling about your property on South Coral Road. Uh, give me a call back. My phone number is 571-274-4087. Thanks. Bye. All right. You're up. We got Mr. Elijah Rubin saying two serious closers right here. Look at that. We got That's him getting uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Closer Mr. Rubin right himself right there. He is. He's the best. Hashtag let's go. We have 12 buyers in Brooke, Indiana. That's amazing. So whoever wrote that, you can email the stuff to cd at titaniumprops.com. cd at titaniumprops.com. Make sure you say, like, close their show JB or something. Flex those copywriting skills. Steven, the person that's going to close first is probably going to be whoever gets someone on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> that's Steven Morales himself. It is. One of my favorite closers of all time. I love his style. I love all right, bro. It. Am I next? All right, let's yeah. go. Leaves up. I am up.
Hmm. Let's try this one. You know, RJ, I think my favorite live that you've done was the one where you went live on TikTok from uh, from a tablet. And it made you like uh, short and squat. Like it really just compressed you down. It was pretty epic. Bryce McKinley. Your name is Sean, bro. We're going to triple dial. I don't believe these lies. I don't know what's going on. I've never had a call that ranked so much. Let's might, might be a home phone. Mm. Let's try again. I'm ready to have a conversation. I know, me too. I got so one of my sellers called me back. She left a voicemail. Should we listen to the voicemail? One of your sellers, like one of the leads? Yeah, one of the leads, yeah. Oh, call her back. Let's see. All right, well, we'll just call her back. I don't want to give everyone her phone number. You guys mind if I call her back? Yeah, yeah, go. Yeah, go. All right, cool. That is June. Yeah, that's June. Yeah, I got her. Just so you know, this is two calls for him. <laughs> you get two calls then. Because I am a competitive person, even though he's super nice. <laughs> Come on, Jin. You just called me. Come on. I'm sorry, but the person. Let me just call her again. Munif, have you ever seen this before? This is a telephone. <laughs> he mutes us, he can't hear us. Who needs too young to remember landlines? <laughs> I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. All right, you are up. Um, Matt wants to know, how young do you think Munif is? Munif is 30 years old <laughs> and 37 days. At 30 years old and 30, well, I turned 37 days ago. So at 30 and 7, yes, you got it. I was I missed by 30 days. You were close. You got, oh, you're very close. Right. So um, I still get carded. I still get, especially when I shave. So this, I don't know how to take this. <laughs> you know what's funny? I, I, I bought my first drink and I didn't get carded. I don't know how. You had the confidence, man. Yeah, I was wearing a suit. This is it. Sorry, but the person you called has a voicemail. Dude, come on. This is just brutal right now. This is uh, this is like they know that you know you got the, <laughs> the top two finishers in the closer Olympics. Yeah. Trying to put on a show. Uh, yeah. there's only, don't worry, there's only a couple hundred people watching. No. I mean, this is the business, though, right? Sometimes you have days where you're just like. Oh yeah. There is no amount of money. I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voice mailbox that is not. All right. You're up, bro. All right. Some things are worth more than money. Oh, wait. No, no you're not. Get out of here. You right. you, you double dialer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Or you get two in a row. Yeah. Do you, want to use one, do you want to use one of your uh, – your... I do. I do. Yeah, I want, I, I'm, I'm going to cash in one of my special ones for a sale lead. Okay. Sale lead, okay. Yeah, not a new one. And I want Grand Junction, Colorado. Okay. So what's a sale lead? 
So we've got three lead statuses on high speed. So we've got the ones that are brand new. These are ones that have never been purchased. They've just been generated. They're fresh on the platform. Now, either after a certain period of time or if they've been bought once before, then they move to sale status. Um, when you buy a brand new lead, I'll show you guys here. When you buy a brand new lead, so if I click buy lead, you get three options for exclusivity, one hour, 48 hours, or 100% exclusive. So if you buy it on the one hour hold or the 48 hour hold, then after that amount of time, the lead does get relisted on the platform. Got it. The one at Grand Junction is gonna buy it. Look at this, cha-ching. You go to your leads list. That's all you can I, do. can I just throw out there that right now someone with the name Dildo Baggins is rooting for me? Okay. I don't care what happens the rest of this live. That's the best name I've ever seen online. Dildo. Oh my Hello, God. This is Dildo. Dildo Baggins. <laughs> <laughs> oh dude that's, that's oh epic. my god that's so good i don't know who you are dildo but i love you and i respect oh you. man sterling says you can't call her until after 8 p.m today i got the same lead from facebook ads that sucks <laughs> cool still gonna get told no love you rj this is I love you too, whoever you are. And use some... that name on your next call. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Dildo. <laughs> Hi, it's Angie. Please leave a message and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Angie, this is RJ Bates calling you about your property there in Grand Junction. Um, if you could give me a call back, 817-710-8689. Love to talk to you about that property, see if we can uh, make something happen there. So give me a call back. Thank you. All right, dude. All right. Hey, I'm making a guest appearance. We got the, the mighty Gene at iSpeedDelete.com. What's up, Gene? What's up, guys? Great to see everybody. This is this Hey, what's going on? This is freaking awesome. But nice to meet you. Good to meet you too, but what do you guys decide to call a bunch of voicemails? Come on, let's go. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but uh, we'll, we'll get we'll get there. Are you guys texting him? I just want to, I, I jumped on because also because I wanted to say for our customers, make sure you text them and be like, hey, calling about, don't tell them too much, but like, hey, calling about your house, right? So because a lot of you guys call so much, your number shows up as spam. Mm -hmm. But if you text them what the call's about, then they'll be like, all right, cool, let me call this guy. Yeah. And, and, you know, thank you, Gene. Thanks. Like, um, it, it's really an honor to have you host this for us. So like, thank you for, for doing this for us, man. All right. Let's call the seller. It's an honor to have you guys. This is crazy. This is freaking awesome. Trinity home buyers. That is investor lift investor lift. It's not free though. Like I speed delete. I speed's free to sign up. Hello. Hey Calvin. Yeah. How's it going, man? Good. Hey, did I catch you at a bad time? I'm calling about two twenty one Twin Creek Drive. Cool. I think you uh, submitted a web form on our website that you're looking to sell it. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, man. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the property? It's a uh, it's a mobile home. It's on the permanent foundation. Uh, on like I think it's about four tenths of an acre of land. It's got a private fence. Put a new roof on it. It needs some floor work and one of the bathrooms. Uh, needs a fresh coat of paint. It needs a little bit of work. I'm I'm the owner. It's paid for, and I live there now. But I'm looking to relocate and uh, try to buy something a little bigger. A little bit bigger. You want to upsize? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm pulling it up right now. While I pull it up, um, 
Are you are you the only owner? Is there someone else that we should no, be talking no, no, no. to? I'm the, I'm the only one. All right. Okay. So um, I got it. I got it right here. Pulling up on Zillow. So you you actually own the mobile home. Do you own the land on it as well? Yeah. Okay. So you own both. You own you own the mobile home and you own the land. Yes. All right. One second. Let me let me pull it up here. I'm not getting much data on Zillow, so I'm going to use some of my other software. Excuse me. Your day going so far? I uh, just just got in. We uh, the real landscape business and a tree removal business. <laughs> I'm glad to be done today. I'm I'm tired. Yeah, you had a long day. Yeah. Yeah. I just um, one of my sellers today was a landscaper. And, um, yeah, he, and so he did landscaping for his realtor. He had a buddy he did landscaping for, um, that guy was a realtor. And then when my seller had to sell his house, he used that realtor to sell and the realtor ended up taking advantage of him and he locked up his house for two years. It was a, wow. Yeah. I'm I'm trying to help him. Yeah. Cause, cause what I do is I buy these houses in cash. Right. And so we don't use realtors. We don't use agents. We don't use anyone like that. It's just, you know, man to man, right? I'm a, I'm a private investor. Um, and, and so like that website, like that you filled out, I go and like, that's a third party company and I pay them for to, the ability to talk to you on the phone. Right. So you're, you're dealing directly with the guy who, who actually buys these in cash. Um, so yeah, I'm looking this up. I'm looking up your house. Um, what were you hoping to get for this? Well, I, I really, I, I just, this is just the start of this. I don't, I don't really know, man. I, yeah. I'm, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of torn between selling it and keeping it, but you know, I don't, I don't need two homes. I raised five children in that house mm. and they're, they're gone all but two of them now. So I, uh, I'm just ready to move from there and I found another place. So I, uh, I don't know. I mean, the market is hot right here now, even on something that needs work. So I'm thinking probably 60. Mm. 60,000. Yeah. Right. <laughs> the way you said that, that is something. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> so, well, so um, Calvin, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. So like, I, you know, it's, it's, universe works in mysterious ways so like whether or not i buy this house like let's chat for a little bit here um maybe we strike a deal maybe we don't but at least i want to point you in the right direction because you sound a little like you're not really sure what you want to do and i've been doing this business for a long time so um you know it sounds like your kids uh you're kind of like an empty nester and like your kids you know you you know you um you you raised five kids in the house and they, they all left they uh went and built their own nests yeah 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 uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll put two of them two of them still with me they still with you oh, how old are they they're uh they'll be four let's see no they'll be 15 this december they're twins that's the last two i got left okay so they're they're in high school now yeah so they're gonna be oh, probably yeah. they're gonna be going to college in a couple of years um or, or or at least maybe entering the workforce yeah after high school yeah, yeah. That's right. so um you want to you know um you go to that second property did you did you end up buying it or are you looking at one that you like no nah, i've already bought it you've already bought it but you don't live there you live here in this mobile home yeah got so, it at, at, the, at, the, at the time being yeah at the time being and you're planning on moving no matter what right because you already bought it so you probably bought it to move into yeah yeah all right yeah. so let's see here so working with me what I like to do is I like to pay uh, cash. I, I cut out the middleman so I can get you a bit of a better deal. So there's no realtor, there's no fees, any of that crap. I pay all that. Um, this is it's just a little bit hard to get. Can I put you on hold? Let me let me ask my senior partner just uh, to take a look at this. I mean, do you, you have a couple minutes, right? I'm not taking up or yeah, interrupting. No, I'm, I'm actually, man, I'm sitting in here under the shade tree. Okay, cool dope man all right let me let me just put you on hold let me talk to my senior partner he's awesome his name is rj 
Um, we call him the Viking Wizard here at the office. So let me let me okay. give, let me just talk to him. Uh, Bro, what's up? Help. Hold that. Hold that. Where'd you go? I didn't hear you. You can't hear me. Yeah, what'd you say? You sound like you're underwater. Oh, really? Hold on. Can you hear me now? Yep. Yep. Go ahead. Um. So how do I comp this? It's a um. It's like a mobile home. So I don't really buy these. What's so, the name? Um. Calvin let's... McBride. Right. It's mobile with foundation and land, though, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like a mobile home, but it's like a ranch, just like a, crap, a crappy ranch. Pretty much. Liam, does it say old land? Or he wants sixty. He wants sixty, and so um, love Francis right here next to me. She's comping this, and she's saying that a similar one sold for eighty-seven thousand. So let's. Let me confirm how he many. He owns it free and clear, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So he just threw the finance. 60 out there, like whatever. He just threw the 60. I don't know. How, how well, let's yeah, go let's sell the finance and let's just go base off the rent rate. <clears throat> is it a mobile home or is it a manufactured home? Yeah, let me ask him. Yeah. Hey, Calvin. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Is it a mobile home or is it a manufactured home? It doesn't have what? Sorry, what was that? Axles. It does not. It does not. So, is it? Has it been like affixed to the ground, or is it not affixed? Yes, it's kind of permanent. It's on a permanent foundation, you know, brick foundation with. There's no axles under it, so it's it's fixed. Got it. So, so it is a manufacturer. And how many bed and baths does it have? It's three bedrooms and two baths. All right, give me one second, all right? I'm just writing this down, taking this. Okay. I saw so, you making hand gestures. Yeah, yeah. Let's just get them to sell or finance it um, so we can cash flow it and, and keep it as a rental. Sell or finance it at 60? Well, isn't that, oh, isn't, isn't that, isn't that what you all do? You know, I, your price, my terms, right? Yes, yes. Uh, what's a good cash price, do you think? 40? Um, 18. Really? Yeah, anchor the shit out of them, and then you get your seller finance. Let's do he it. Already, he already negotiated you off of the 60. He said, oh, that didn't sound good. So he'll take 50 or 45. Now, yeah. Is RJ being competitive, or is he being helpful? We're JVing on this. We're JVing on this. <laughs> so. I, I would, that's uh, honestly what I would do. I'd say, look, listen, man, cash, I'm probably going to need to be like 18 to 20, but I could probably do like 45 to 50 seller finance as long as we can come in on the, the correct monthly price. Let's do it. I love this. This is why RJ is the best. He knows what he's doing. All right. Hey, okay. I just ran the numbers. You ready? Yeah. So for a cash sale, because of the condition it's in, because it needs a lot of work and it's not really a home home, it's a manufactured home, we're going to be somewhere in the 15 to 20 range for cash. 15 to 20? Yeah. That's for, that's for everything? That's for that's the cash. If you wanted to liquidate this in cash. Yeah. But. Uh, I, I wouldn't be able to do that at all. Man. I know. I know. That's, I, I mean, I, I, got, I, got, I got that in it. You got that in it, right? <laughs> so yeah. what, what I do is since I'm, I'm an investor, I'm a private investor, I can actually yeah. do more money. If you give me terms. terms, yeah. So say you let me make payments to you, uh-huh. right? And I got a payment structure with you, and we we use a title company to make that whole thing legit. Yeah. And um, I make payments now. I can go in and use my cash to improve the property and put a tenant in there. Yeah. And you essentially become the bank. And we, we, we can actually pay you a lot more money that way because now I got a payment structure and I can I can make a little bit of profit every month by putting my cash in there, repairing the property, putting a tenant in there and collecting that monthly rent. Right. Is that something that, that interests you? Does that get you a little bit more excited to maybe make a little bit more money on this? No, nah, not really. 
Not really. No. What What are you looking for? What are you hoping to accomplish? Nothing. You want to sell this at 60. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, it, it, right here where I'm at, look, it, 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 it's, it's probably right here right now. We're selling. People, people are fighting to buy houses where I'm at right now. They're paying fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars over asking price for for a couple of homes, uh, a two hundred fifty thousand dollar house here now. Uh, three years ago, they're selling for three twenty five, three fifty now, and they're and they're 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 paying over asking price, ten, fifteen, twenty, sometimes thirty thousand dollars just to get home. So no, I, I wouldn't be interested in that at all. Now, because I mean, I can I can do what you're trying to do now. I can do that myself. Yeah, yeah go I, get a tenant I, in there. I just liquidate it and just get it out of the way. So you're looking, uh, you're looking for a cash offer. You're looking, you're not interested in taking payments or anything like that. Even if somebody came in and made you a down payment and yeah, gave you some interest I on it. I don't really need that. I mean, yeah. I'm just, I'm looking to just get rid of it. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to upkeep two properties, you know, but I mean, I mean, I could, I mean, I can move one of my children in it, you know, clean it up or, you know, fix it. And, uh, I can move on them in it, but no, I'm not really interested in that at all. Yeah, yeah, that I respect that, Calvin. I yeah. I totally get that, and I just yeah. I'm a little curious about something you said. You'd have to upkeep two properties, so um, if we did something like this, there would be no upkeep. You'd be Bank of Calvin, and I I would be right. making payments to you as if you were the bank. So when okay. a to, when well, a do toilet, you, do you have something in mind? Do you have some kind of a payment in mind? Yeah, oh, okay. it, it's something. Yeah, I'm thinking, right? So yeah. I'm thinking of making a monthly payment to you. Uh, I could do something. I can do something a lot closer to the 40s if uh -huh. we do something like this. And I'd make a down payment to you. I would uh -huh. then improve the property and I'd make monthly payments to you. Uh -huh. And I can even give you a little bit of an interest rate. So you make money on top of your money. Okay. Well, um, what, when, could, when could you put some numbers together? Yeah, I sure can. We so can right this. let me, um, what are you doing today? Um, I'm actually right now, I'm not, I'm not doing anything right now, but I have something to do here in about the next 30 or 45 minutes. Uh, actually, we had a trip to tear up today, so we got a, I'm just taking a break right now. I'm, I'm fishing to get sucky shit. <laughs> I got I to go work on the truck here just a little bit, but. Yeah, so I mean, I'm having time. I, you can call back anytime. It's fine. Yeah, but I wanna I wanna just put something just out there so you can yeah. let it marinate. Like we don't have to make a decision today, but okay. we can let something marinate. Um, give me just just let me put you on hold for another two minutes. Let me just put some numbers together. Okay. All right. All right. I'll work. I'll be here. Well, this year, the number that I would anchor to would be the total interest paid over 15 years, the 16,000, because that sounds good no matter what. Yeah, do you see what I got here? This is 50,000 at 4% interest over 15 years, so it's 369 a month. But like Liam said, you can tell them, well, really, we're paying you 66,000, so we're paying you more than what you even asked. Oh, this is dope. This is dope. Let's do it. Hey, Calvin. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right, cool. So I actually ran it through my mortgage calculator. And so I'm just throwing this out there. Um, this is actually looking very, very promising. Um, if I bought it, at, let's say I, I did it even more, I can actually pay up to $50,000 on seller finance and if i gave you a four percent interest rate which is something i can do yeah uh what those payments look like is a little bit under 400 a month and if right. we do it a 15-year note the total amount of payments you're going to get is going to total to sixty six thousand five hundred and seventy one dollars with a down payment of what i was looking here to make a down payment uh, something like five thousand dollars down. Oh, okay. You you, uh, you don't sound excited with the five thousand dollar down payment. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> what 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 kind of what kind of down payment were you hoping for? I don't know. Uh, 
a little bit more than that. What, 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 you tell me what, what what would get you curious about this? What would get you excited? Yeah, you're fishing, man. What was you're, that? You're fishing. I'm, well, I want to know. I told you what I wanted to give you, but I want to know what you wanted. You tell me what you can do, and I'll tell you if I can do it or not. You're, but you're the bank, right? So when I go and get a loan from the bank, they tell me the, the loan terms, right? So uh, what 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 you're you're in charge. You tell me what you want, <laughs> and I I go back and I see if this makes sense from a cash perspective. Because you got to remember, man, I got to go fix up the property. I got to spend my cash. I got to hire some local contractors. Maybe I can hire you to do the landscaping. I'd love to do that. Um, but I got to hire some people to, to fix this house up and put it in <laughs> rent ready condition, right? Right. So what 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 would be a nice down payment? Would you go? Yeah, yeah. If he made this down, I would be happy. So the the, the term that you were talking about, Wally, are you talking about um, sixty? What did you say? Sixty six over, and with a five thousand dollar down payment over fifteen years at about four hundred dollars a month. Yeah, just about. So the purchase price would be fifty thousand, but because I'm giving you interest, you'd get about sixty eight thousand over the course of the loan. So you'd be selling this for more than you're asking for. Yeah. Okay. Well, you said I can marinate on that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I want you to think about a down payment um, that okay. that makes sense to you, all right? Now, this number that you called me from, this 571274487, that's yeah. your number? Yeah, that's my direct line. Okay. And... Uh, let's say this, like before I let you go, let's say you, you think about it, you marinate on it and you, you like the idea. How uh, soon would you be ready to move on this? Uh, I mean, as quick as you wanted to move. Oh, that's... I mean, I'm, I can go, I can go and I can have my stuff out of there in two days. Okay. Like, like, cause, cause yeah, what I'm trying I, to do I, here. Yeah. Right. I'm like, very flexible. As far as that's concerned, I mean, I can, I can go because the other place is ready. All I got to do is just go move in. <laughs> How much would you think I would need to spend on fixing this property up? Because that, that's part of my equation, right? Because I'm assuming I'm going to need a certain amount of money, right? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, most of it is just cosmetic. There's some sheetrock work to be done on the inside. Okay, it needs, it needs a fresh coat of paint, which is not that much. Um, I put hardwood floors in it that, like I said, one of the bathroom floors, I had a leak in the sink and the floor is the floor. It needs to be torn up and put new, new plywood down in that, in that bathroom, which is, is not a huge call. So I'm saying to get the property, up, I was going to say, I was going to say, uh, less than $5,000. If if that much, it depends on how 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 a, how, uh, how specific you wanted to do things. I mean, you got sheetrock, uh, you got some some paint, the flooring, maybe a new vanity in the master bathroom. But other than that, it's it's, it's good. I would I would I would want to make it pretty nice because like you know you would be my lender here, right? So it's in both of our best interests to like if I if I spent that extra money, maybe I spend you know ten or twelve, you know make yeah. it make it really nice, and and so we can charge yeah. a little bit more for rent. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like that asset that that you would be lending on, right? Because you would be it'd be Bank of Calvin. It's in it's in really your best interest to make that asset really good, right? So. I'm thinking here I spend about maybe like closer to 15 just to make this really nice. And, and that's kind of where I'm at, where I was thinking, okay, I'll be all in 20,000 out of that 60,000. I give you 5,000 uh, in your pocket. I'd spend 15 on the property and then I'll be paying all the closing costs because we're going to be using a title company and they're going to be making sure everything's legit. And we're going to be using them to make sure that you have a, um, you own the mortgage on that house. So I have to pay them. So adding those costs up, that's really where I got the 5,000. Well, you know, I never really thought about it in those terms of way that you're, I was just thinking about just selling it straight out. But you know that, that 
that that may be something I might be interested in, but I, to be honest with you, right now something has just come up, and I'm not trying to put you off, man. No, I know, I know. I, you you told me you told me you're you're gonna have something come up. So why don't why don't I call you back? And why don't you think about that down payment? Because I think that's just that last little bit, and we can get this thing squared away. Yeah. All right. Um, and I'll and I'll think about that. And um, I got. Do you want me to call you back on this number? Yeah, this is my direct cell. You can also text me here too. All right, brother. Okay. All right. I'll do that. Just uh, I won't leave long. Maybe maybe uh tomorrow. Yeah, I just need to know what you want down so I can start calculating how much I'm going to spend to fix this property up. Okay. Right. That'll work. All right. Later. All right. All right. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Bye. That was fun. What a sick call, guys. Guys, this lead was bought on iSpeedsLead.com, and Gene actually just sent me a private message because what we're looking is that only five of you guys have signed up since the start of the show, and we have 250 of you guys on. So we're thinking to ourselves, okay, you know what? We're marketers, right? Let's think of a little scheme that's going to get people excited to sign up. So first, when you sign up using the link in the description, you're going to give RJ money, right? If you like RJ, give him some money, right? And maybe RJ will give some of that to me. If you guys are coming from sub two, maybe RJ will share. No, no I'm actually selling sub two right now. Sign up using RJ's link. Because <laughs> okay. RJ and I are JV partners as of this lead. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this is, this, if you sign up, you are directly supporting Munif's future business ventures and JV with, with RJ. So that's yes, one part. Exactly. Second, second, five random people who sign up tonight, we are going to give an extra $100 balance to. Okay, five random people are going to get an extra so we're giving away an extra $500 to you guys. And literally all you've got to do is just sign up for the website and find leads that you like. Sign we're up, gonna, no obligation. It's free. It's worth it. We're going to do that five people. We're going to pick those five people at the end of the show. So you have to be signed up before then. There we go. All right. That was a great call, Munif. Thanks. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. I will. So like... I, I don't do anything alone, right? Like I have people helping me all the time. So like in this call, you saw I reached out to RJ. Hello, you have reached John. All right, you're up. What? Come on. <laughs> oh, no, like like get like I want I want RJ to die. Those, those are the rules, man. My game, my bullshit. rules. <laughs> like what? This is bullshit. Like you got. I mean, how are you gonna buy a house if you can't talk to anyone? I don't know. I can call again. All I all I need is one. I know. All he needs is one. Yeah. All well, the second he gets somebody, it's er, game over. Done. I know. I know. Maybe the universe is trying. Did you to get other callbacks? Make it fair. Let me see. Maybe I got another callback. Let me see. Were you not able to talk to June? Let me call June again. Maybe she'll pick up this time. That's your dial, though. Remember, you haven't had much success that yet. I'm gonna call her and say, June, where have you been my whole life? June actually wants to talk to a wholesaler. That's she sounded very receptive. This is so dope, says Mr. Myers. Look at that, my man. It is so dope. <laughs> I swear, Munif is a thousand percent pace Morby's son. It's hilarious. He's good though. <laughs> Hello. Hi, June. Yes. Hey, did I catch you at a better time? This is Munif. Yeah, you caught me. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, awesome. Do, do you have a couple minutes to talk right now about your property? Yeah. Amazing. I mean, how's your day going, by the way? Better than it has been. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. I'm happy to hear that. All right. So I, it's so funny because, you know, I, I'm looking here that you're actually, um, this property is in Kaufman, Texas. Correct. That is, I just did a project down there. It's listed on the MLS right now. It was a house that was burned down by a fire. And we, uh -huh. we came in, we paid cash for that property and we restored it. And now it's beautiful and we're going to sell it to a new family that's going to be living in there. Right. Awesome. So tell me a little bit about your property. Well, I, I, it, my, I gave my, uh, an acre to my son years ago. And what I'm wanting to sell is that 2.445 acres. It's five, almost three acres. Mm. Uh, I, I live in an old farmhouse. 
uh, the land does need to be cleaned up a little bit in the pasture. So this is oh, uh, oh let me let me just um just clarify something. This is land. This you're not really selling a house. This is land. No, I'm selling the house. The whole, the the on this uh, 2.445 acres is uh, the home, the three bedroom home, okay. uh, a garage shop, which you know probably you'll probably think it needs to be torn down, and I have a, a old barn that you know my my husband when he was alive. He used to break and train horses, so we kept our horses in the pasture. Oh. So I'm just wanting to sell it outright. You're wanting to sell it outright as is. You're not looking to, you know, no. um, do anything else to the property. You just want to sell no. it as is. Correct. Okay. And you said it was a three bed, and was it a one bath? Correct. And it's, I think I'm, I'm looking at the online records here. It's about 1,300 square feet. Does that sound about right? About th close to about around there or fourteen. About fourteen. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure I have the address correct. Yeah, I got your address right here. I'm just putting it in my system. Give me one second. And uh, a propane tank comes with the property. Wow, a full propane tank comes with the property. Correct. Mm, got it. Well, it's not full of propane, but it's uh, the tank itself. Beautiful. And um, so, June, do you have somewhere to live if we buy this? Uh, yes, I believe so. You believe so or you know so? Because I got to make sure I, you... <laughs> okay. I have, I have family that I can go to and, okay. and uh, if I have to. Okay, because like it's, it's important to me. So I'm a private investor, right? So I buy these houses right. cash. And mm -hmm. um, sometimes I re resell them. Sometimes I fix them up and, and hold them. Um, but I'm a private investor. And... Um, one of my things is I make sure to take care of my sellers. So it, it I actually need to know that like you will be okay. Like you have somewhere to go that I'm not putting you out on the streets. I do. Okay, good. And if we came to an agreement on price, um, like how soon are you looking to move? Between, uh, well, 14 to 30 days. I've got uh, a lot of my stuff packed in my house already. And so it wouldn't take me long to get out. It wouldn't take you long. Um, and no. you, you've got family you can move in with. Got it. Yes. And and June, um, is there anyone else on title that we should be talking to? Uh, no, I know my, hu my husband and I were on title. He passed away in 2011, which I showed uh, the uh, people I still owe a mortgage to, a small mortgage to. I show a, a Zach Stem the you know death certificate of my husband, so it should be only me on the on the. Got it. Uh, yeah. Got it. So yeah, if, if we can show that death certificate to the title company, there should be no problems when it comes to selling this property. Correct. Yeah. Between and, uh, you know, between what I owe on the mortgage and what I owe on my taxes, it equals up to about fifty four thousand. And I was, you know, wanting at least 185. Okay, so let's go back at those numbers. You owe about 54,000, and that includes your mortgage and some back taxes? Correct. Okay, so are you behind a little bit on tax payments? Well, the taxes I am, which, you know, I, I, as soon as I sell it, or y'all can, yeah. let y'all buy it, then y'all can, you know, send, uh, you know, pay it off. Of course, of course we would. Absolutely. So I'm just, I just want to make sure we have those numbers. Um, so do you know, just by estimation, um, how much those back taxes are? About, uh, about little, maybe a little over 5,000. About 5,000. Okay. And let's say we'll, we'll just guess the mortgage, the small mortgage is about 49,000. 46, I owe 46,000, close to 47,000. 47,000. Okay. Correct. I'd say 46, you 
Got it. Because I already called, I already called my my uh, mortgage company yeah. and my land tax and got all that straightened out already. All right. And um, are you are you making payments right now on that mortgage? I am. All right. Did, did you fall a little bit behind on that too? No, I, I caught. I uh, no, I don't. I paid my uh, my mortgage payments three eighty three thirty five. Okay, three eighty three dot thirty five. Okay. Okay, and where? So I I know you gave me a number, um, and I know where you were at on that price. Um, now, if I made you a cash offer, if I paid all closing costs, you know, commissions, fees, all that crap, what were you hoping oh. to get for this property? Okay, well, uh, if you can, you know, I need. I, like I said, I, my, I gave my son an acre of land, and I need it uh, replotted and surveyed. Got it. So what we got to do is we can't make that part of this deal, right? Because that's got to go to your son, right? So right now... Well, no, uh, well I, I want it all done, and, you know, what, whatever offer you're offering me on the home, mm -hmm. you know, and this other mortgage uh, investor, they were going to go ahead and pay for the replotting and the surveying and paying off my mortgage and what I owe on my taxes. And with all that, uh, well, I didn't, they didn't say, yeah, with all that, I'd be ending up with uh, 134 because I was asking 185. So you have another offer and they offered to do that? They offered. Well, they. Yeah, the first one that I had been talking to. And how come you haven't signed with them? Uh, I just, you know, they. I'd, I'd rather deal with somebody else. Oh, did they not like uh, follow up with you or something? I'm, I'm a little curious because that that was a pretty good deal. I yeah, they they didn't they wouldn't reach. Huh? They offered us one eighty five. That was their offer. Right. My son, can you talk to my son? Yeah, sure. I'd be happy to talk to your son. How you doing, sir? My name's Robert. Hi, Robert. My name's Manif. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, sir. All right, so here's the deal. The other investor we contacted was the very first person that we talked to about this. Mm -hmm. And they shot a price at us. It mm -hmm. wasn't It wasn't a price that we set. It was a price they set. Mm -hmm. It was at 185 mm -hmm. and I'm being honest with you. And I expect the same from you. Of course. But they, they they gave me they quoted me a price of one eighty five after they had time to review it and all that. And I accepted their price with the conditions that they were gonna pay for it to get replotted. Yep. And, and then obviously the one eighty five is gonna pay off the back taxes and mm -hmm. pay off the rest of the world, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, they pushed us for two weeks to sign the contract. Pushed us for two weeks to sign the contract. Mm -hmm. Uh with us you know, not knowing the same question you just asked my mom, where is she going to move to and all this? And that's mm -hmm. why we're ready to do it now because we've already worked that stuff out. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So, so that's why I was asking, like, did you hear me ask your mom? Like, Hey, does she have somewhere to go? Does she like, this is important, I right? Did. Cause, cause like, yeah. like this is people's lives, right? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like you guys, this is your life. Like for, for a business, this might just be another transaction, but for you, this is like the home you yeah. guys grew up in, right? So, yeah, sir, yeah. you know, I, I understand. Um, yeah, I appreciate that because they obviously didn't, and that's why I'm not talking to them now. I could probably get, I mean, because, okay, well, I, let me finish the story. Yeah. But they put this for two weeks to sign the contract, and finally, the last two days, I took the day off of work, and I sat here with her to read the contract over because I wanted to make sure it was legit. And I seen on the, con on the contract, that they had 14 days. We both had 14 days. That's the way the contract was written up to mm -hmm. change our mind. Well, we signed the contract. She congratulated us on the sale of our house. We were supposed to close on the 12th of this month. Mm -hmm. And uh, about four days later, after we had already started packing, because literally me and my wife came out here, we figured out what how we were going to handle you know the situation and start packing it. Uh, and uh, we started packing and, and cleaning up, getting it ready to go. And she texted us trying to get us to, she, she texted me first and she said, Hey, I think I might have a little too much in this, uh, you know, trying to, trying to talk us down. And, uh, I said, look, that was the price you quoted. Yep. You came at me. With that yep. price. 
I didn't. And I said, if you think that we're going to renegotiate now, mm -hmm. you know, go kick the rocks. Go kick rocks. And she was like, oh, yeah. And she was like, oh, okay, all right. You know, didn't say nothing the rest of that night about it. And then the next day she texted my mom and said that they were backing out. Yeah. So um, Robert, right? That was your name? Yes, sir. So I, I've been doing this for a while. And so um, I'll tell you exactly the kind of scam you guys ran into. It, it's nothing more than a scam, right? And it's called, uh, gives my business a bad name. So there are people out there that are uneducated, untrained, unqualified, and they market themselves as investors, right? So I'm an investor. I actually buy these properties cash and then I list them. I can actually send you real listings. I got one in Coffin, Texas right now. It's a real property I bought and I listed. And some of these other people that call, they're actually not real buyers. The person you talk to, they're not a real buyer. What they're doing is they negotiate a price with you and then they market it to real buyers such as me. If I saw this property on my desk at 185, do you think I'm buying it? Mm, I, I I'm not. I'm not. I'm Probably. saying I'm saying no. And what what happened, that's exactly what happened to them. They marketed it to real buyers and not a single one was even curious to buy it. And so 4 days before closing, they back out and they leave you and your mother holding the bag. Yeah. So what whether or not you do business with me, whether or not you sell this to a, an investor that, such as myself or somebody else, I need you to ask for $10,000 non-refundable earnest money. Okay. What that does is it, it weeds out all the scammers and non-serious people from the real buyers. Do you think it's a big deal for me to put down $10,000 and if I waste your time, you get $10,000? Oh, yeah. Not a yeah, big deal. So, so do you see how like I can do that, right? But somebody who's not really a serious buyer who actually doesn't intend to close on your property, they won't be able to do that. Okay. So what I'm saying is from now on, whoever you sell to, whether it's me, whether it's anybody else, you want to make sure they're putting down earnest money for $10,000. And if I read that contract, I haven't read the contract, but if I read it, I can guarantee you they didn't put anywhere close to that amount of money on the contract. No, there wasn't no talk about earnest money. There, did, there was something in there about it, but I, I, to be honest with you, this is my first time selling. I, you know, I'm trying to figure it out myself. Right. So, so that's, it's not your job to understand real estate, right? You're a good son. You care about your mother right? You're like, you're an honest, straight shooter. And I respect that. Yep. And it's not your job. Like you didn't go to school for real estate, right? So wh what, what you're going to look for is earnest. You're going to say, Hey, I want earnest money. I want a sense of title. And if you back out, I keep that money. And now you're going to get real offers. Now you're going to get serious people. That 185, I know they said it, they promised a bunch of things, but that's, that's nowhere near what the house is worth and the condition it's in. Yeah, and I was gonna I was gonna make that real clear with you that uh, the house is it's in it's in poor condition. It's the tax mm -hmm. records say nineteen hundred. Uh, it's had small you know uh, remodels and repairs done throughout the years, but it's gonna take somebody that that really wants to keep this house to to fix it. Yeah, uh, and you know just being honest with you, I, I appreciate I that. Know, I do know, and, and the land, when she's saying that it needs a little cleaning up, she's just talking about it's just overgrown. There's no trash. There's not a bunch of junk laying around, nothing like that. It's all clear land. It's just, you know, the trees and stuff are kind of tucking it over in the back. All right. So what I, what I want from you, sir, is just an honest, you know, uh, an honest, you know, an honest uh, uh, offer. And, uh, you know, we can swallow it or not. I do know, you know, I, I've – been looking around and talking to people and, you know, the hearsay around here. And I know an acre of land with nothing on it, uh, over in a neighborhood, not too far from here, sold for 85,000, just one acre. Now I'm not saying I want that for this. I'm, I'm not, but I'm, thinking, I'm thinking, uh, you know, just, just a fair offer. And then we know where we stand. So 
I'll also be honest with you because I love your honesty and transparency. I can't make a, uh, the best offer without getting my eyes on it. I can give you a number right now, and but that number is going to be contingent on me getting eyes on the property to see exactly what the condition is. All right. So I can make you an offer. I can send somebody out there in the next week or so just to give me that eyes to say, yeah, like we're good. Like this is good or no, like, Hey, this, this house is in a lot worse shape than we thought it is. Cause right now we're just having a phone call. Right. So I'm just going to be very clear with you. Like if I give you a number, right. It's still going to be contingent on me getting eyes on that property. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, and that's completely, and I understand. Uh, and like I said, me personally, if I had two hundred thousand dollars to buy this place, uh, if I had that money, you know, I would probably, I would probably want the house gone. I probably, of course. So, it, it, if you could, just you know, it, it's really not that bad. The right person, you know, I'd say about half the people might say, yeah, you know, we'll fix it up. You know, it's like I said, it's built in the nineteen hundreds, so. I don't know if that means anything to anybody, but, uh, so, so me, Robert, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of sentimental value for this, right? Like you might, if you had the cash and the ability to keep this and do this yourself, like you might pay twice what someone like me would pay. Cause this house has a lot of meaning to you. Right. But like right now in this, this stage of your life and your mom's life, if a cash offer makes sense, if just turning this into just money makes sense, my offer would be, I don't even know if it would have, uh, it would be in the six figures. Really? Yeah. That'd be really pushing it to get it into the six figures. It'd be really pushing it, be really tight. For two acres of land with a pond on it. Yeah. It's a lot of maintenance, and we'd have to find the right buyer because I would actually turn around and sell this, right? So I, I need to find a buyer. So I have to price it accordingly, especially with the interest rates going up. They just went again up. You can blame the administration for that, but the interest rates just went up again. Well, okay. I know just talking to people though, Kaufman is pretty tough. You know, there's not much land for sale in Kaufman and it goes pretty quick. But, I know. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I, mean, I, I know Kaufman. I know Kaufman. I, I, I would I would have to get more than than you know that it would have to be around you know 150. I, I was thinking, dude, you know they 160 they, is the lowest. Yeah, 160, and and I mean, like I said, just you know, all I, all you can do is give me a, a fair offer that works for you. So if you want to have somebody come look at it, that's fine. But uh, so what what happens if you don't sell? If I don't no, sell, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find somebody that that'll buy it. But right. it, in the meantime, we'll keep paying the mortgage. And, yeah, uh, yeah, for she sure. Uh, she's only behind like I don't know a couple. I'm not even behind. No, no but in taxes. Oh, in taxes. Yeah, that, that's not a big deal. I mean, like you guys can keep holding it, right? Like, so like I I'm like I said like. I might not be your buyer for this, right? But I want to make sure you guys are taken care of. If there's anything I can give you from this phone call, it's to weed out real buyers from fake buyers who waste your time, fake buyers who get you and your mom worked up, packing all your stuff in boxes, and then just cancel on you four days before closing, right? So if somebody came in, they said, yeah, I'll do 160, I'll do 150. Me as a real investor, me who actually does this for a living, I'd be concerned about that price because I know I'm running my numbers here. I'm looking at my cost per square footage. I'm looking at how much money I have to put in. And all that acreage means I got to go and do landscaping for that. That's going to cost a lot of money. And every day it doesn't sell for a business, that business loses money. And these interest rates are rising. COVID means there's a, there's a inventory. All the supplies cost three or four times more. So I know it feels tough. That the number is very difficult to swallow, but I'd be very wary of anyone promising you something in the 140s and 150s. So if there's anything I can leave you with, it's whoever you do business with, ask for $10,000 earnest money. And like you can even send me their contract and I will literally review it for you for free. Out of good conscience, I cannot let this happen to you again.
I will literally review paperwork you sign with anyone else for free and highlight issues or anything that, that screams to me, hey, this person might not be real or legitimate. All right? I appreciate that, sir. Of course. Uh, and if you would, you know, work. We we just want an honest offer. So if you would, it, you know, because you might come out here and say, "Oh no, you know, it, the house is savable." You know, the right person that wants to put the money into it, they they, they can save this house. It isn't, you know, it isn't complete a complete loss. There's a septic tank. There's a shop, and she made the shop sound a lot worse than it is. The shop's got a concrete slab, and it, the shop's definitely savable. And uh, it's a really pretty piece of land, you know. Yeah. If it, yeah, whenever it's 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 cleaned up in the back, but it's just too much for us to do. Yeah, it's it's, it's a lot. It's a lot, right? It's a lot of land. It's a lot to maintain, and that that has a cost to it, right? So like, like what if you guys did sell this? If you sold this to somebody who would just write a check, who would buy this cash, knowing all the work that needs to be done, knowing that the interest rates have gone up, knowing that materials cost three or four times than they used to what is the best price you guys can do well as far as the material goes you know when things go up everything goes up typically i mean uh you know that 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 doesn't people are still going to build you know it might slow it down a little bit but it, it isn't slowing right now i can tell you that uh To be honest with you, I, I couldn't entertain anything less than 150. I really couldn't. I, I couldn't even. Then, I, then I let's do this. Let's do this. If that's really the the, the bottom bottom line, I, I'm not gonna sign a promise that I'm gonna buy it for 150. But what I can do is, I can I can put paperwork together that says, okay, I have the option to buy it at 150, contingent on me doing a walkthrough. Is that fair? About, uh, what about 160? You're already, um, you're already stabbing me in the heart at 150. This is too much. I think so. I think 150, okay. I'm at 100. I'm not even at 100. I'm not even there. So that's why I'm not comfortable signing a purchase and sale agreement at 150. I think it's too much. You want me to sign a contract saying I'll sell it to you for 150 and then you'll come do a walkthrough? So it's a little bit different. It's I have the option to buy it at 150. And that's the reason I like to do that is because I want to be very clear with you that I'm not sure I can do that. That's outside of my comfort zone. That's a little too much outside of my comfort zone. So it's an agreement that says, hey, I have the ability to buy this at 150. And if you get a better offer, I have the ability to either match it. That's all I want, right? And what the reason I want to do that is because I want to have the ability to buy a piece of real estate before I spend money sending my workers out there to go take a look at the property. That's kind of business though, man. I'm an electrician. I go give free estimates all the time. You, you, you do or you don't? I do all the time, all the time. I run around uh, giving free estimates all the time. Yeah. And, fact, and so I, I uh, can't do that. Right, Robert? Like, so what I do is I say, Hey, like, cause I've done these before where I send people out there and I give an offer and they just sell it to somebody else who may have offered 500 or a thousand dollars more than me. Right. And you get it and it sucks. So what I say is, Hey, let me out. If you have another real offer, let me at least match it. Let me at least match it before I send my people out there. Okay. So what you want us to sign a contract saying that you have the option to buy it for 150,000 mm -hmm. and, uh, it expires in 10 days. That's in it. 10 days. It just expires. If I don't buy it, it expires, but if I buy it, we will sign a legitimate purchase and sale agreement and we'll set a real closing date. I'll put down $10,000 earnest money and we'll go from there, right? And I'm just setting expectations with you because the last people didn't. So I'm setting expectations. Hey, this is just an option. We're not really sure what's going to happen here. We're not really sure what's going on, but I want to 
put something in place first before I start moving my people around. Okay. Does that make sense? And what, what are we going to do this all DocuSign or what? Yeah, we'll do it on DocuSign. So what I'll do is I'll um, transfer you to my transaction coordinator. She'll take, um, she'll just need your, your mother's full name, um, any email address, and we'll send the DocuSign out to it. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'm sorry, sir, what's your name again? My name is Munif Saza. Mid Midi? Munif, M-U-N-I-F. Munif? Yeah. So uh, let, me, let me sit down with mom and talk to her. She's over here shaking her head like crazy. And uh, I just got here from work. We're going to talk about it. And then, uh, I mean, I think it's, it's worth you coming out here and looking. So, yeah. Do you want to do this? Do you want to do this? Um, why don't you guys talk about it? Think about it. And then I've got people, I've got a crew right there in Kaufman, right? So let's get somebody out there in the next couple of days. Okay. All right. So gonna, okay. All right. Uh, and you, want, you, you said you'll do that without, without that? Or do we need to do the, that first? Sign the contract. You know, I want to I wanna at least put something on paper before we send anyone out. Well, she'll get back with you tomorrow. Then I'm going to sit down and talk to her, and I'm going to, you know, we're going to discuss this a little bit. And if we come to an understanding that, you know, we can handle 150, and to be honest with you, I mean, you're going to have to get it replotted anyways, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to cover that. Oh, of course. Okay. All right. Uh, let us let us talk about it, and and if she decides that she wants to run with it. Cause that's, that's her money. It's not mine. Yeah. It's not mine. Uh, then she'll call you back tomorrow. Is that a good, is that a good enough? Medina? Yeah, that that's excellent. And I want to set expectations. All right. I, I'm gonna, I appreciate that, sir. I don't even think 150 will work. I, this is my expectations. I will send my people out there and it's going to be closer to hundred than it is 150. But if 150 works, say it's beautiful and the repairs are a lot less than we think it is, we will execute on it. If it's not, we will cancel it and we will just tell you straight up then and there. All right. Okay. So you're trying to tell me that I, I can't even get 50,000 an acre for, for this, this land. I mean, that's almost three acres. I'm telling you that we have to see the property. We have to see it before we, before I can do that price. Okay. Uh, All right. Yeah, let us talk about it, and, and she will get back with you tomorrow. All right. Well, thank you, Robert. I appreciate you. Thank you so much, June. Bye. Bye. Hello. Oh, my gosh. I read the comments. Oh, my God. So there's, there's quite a bit to unpack on this. Yeah. Uh, well, I Personally, for me, I, I thought you did a, a really good job of a lot of different aspects of the call. I just yeah. think on the moon as far as price goes. Yeah. I mean, you did a good job of setting the expectation of that. Yeah. But I, I mean, I, I think they're like way in outer space. So, so I got, so like, I have three people right now, like comping. And then someone was like, you're good at 150, right? So I was like, cool. I'm like, like, so I need to know as a closer, right? This is very emotional. It's like, you have to have certainty. So I'm like, cool, we're good at 150. Let me set the expectations. I don't want to like drag them around. I want to have paperwork in place before I spend money, send anyone to go see the property. So yeah. I, I have something, but I go to the comments and I see RJ's comments because you, your RJ is actually helping you guys. Like RJ is helping comp for me. And he's like, nah, like, like 150 is no good. And I'm like, Oh, well, shit, I, I mean, I all I've got pulled up, I did a, a, a mile and a quarter out yeah. from the property on batch with no other filter so ignore yeah. your built bad bath square foot everything i what i wrote to you was i have comps at 134 140 93 and then 365,000 which okay let's look at the 365,000 right yeah and it's 2400 square feet where this one's 1300 square feet and i i i'm guessing that this is you know, some magical property. There's no picture in there, but that's literally the only thing that kind of shows us that there's some sort of hope. Um, but maybe that, you know, 
that could be the one that we go, you go look at it. So I, I like the idea of setting the option agreement. So you could send your crew out there because maybe they, I mean, when I'm looking at this 365, it's probably, I don't know, a mile away from the property. So it has less land, but it has more house. So, so they're like, that, that's the challenge, right? Like they're, they want to get value for the land. Right. So what I might have to do is I might have to subdivide the land and resell the land. Yep. Right. And like, I know a land guy, Matt Rogers does land. And so like, I would have to like, part of that option would be like, I get to subdivide this. I'll pay for that. Bring it to Matt and see if that sells. But I don't like, like you said, like, um, after reading what you wrote, right. Cause like I have people helping me comp and someone was yep. like, let's go, let's do it. But after reading what you wrote, I'm like, I think it needed to be anywhere between like the 100 to 120 range. So like, yeah, I, think it's, I, I think it's way too high. So like, but let's try it. Like, let's see, let's, let's do an option. So like, I'm, I'm Brandon's gonna got a good question here. Were the lower comps on acres or smaller lots? No, the 94,000 had a, almost the same amount of land. Um, the 130 had a little bit less and the 140 had a lot less. But the 140 was built in 2018, and the one the 93 was built in 1980. So we were dealing with huge variances on land, yeah, and property square foot and year builds. It was literally like the worst comping nightmare ever. So, so, so RJ, like, what do you do in situations like this, right? Because you're you're really you've got the experience to deal with situations where like the comping is a nightmare. So like, how do you like teach your students or your employees uh, how to handle situations like this? So in, in circumstances like this, and to be honest with you, I'm not the person that teaches this. Cassie is. Cassie is. Uh, yeah. Cassie is the, 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 the master of this stuff. Cause I, to be honest with you, I don't have the patience for it. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, it, this would be like the worst phone call for me to be on just from the company aspect. That's what was me. You saw <laughs> nothing else, everything else that you went through. I'm like, I, I would love that. But I'm yeah, just like, yeah, yeah. can someone just tell me what the Airbnb is? As yeah. long as I know what the Airbnb is. <laughs> So in this scenario, man, I mean, it's really difficult. I mean, yeah. honestly, what we like to try to find is some sort of blueprint. And yeah. when there's not one, I mean, you have to kind of pick your poison. Like what, okay, what is it going price per acre? What is it going price per square foot? Are we, are we able to keep it close to it? There's several 1900 builds. So for me, like, that's the first thing I want to do is like eliminate all the 1980s and the 2000s. Yeah. And then say, let's just deal with the 1900s and go from there. So anyways, we're an hour and 40 minutes in, and I haven't spoken to one person. Can we I'm keep dialing? Have you dial, bro? Like, just I, keep I, dialing. Bro. I'm going to call someone, and they're going to answer. I, I'm cashing in my next one. I want this yeah. lead on speed to lead. It's a new lead. It's in Texas. I chose this one. You got Martha J. in Rusk, Texas. The seller motivation is financial reasons. Property says it's in good condition, but the AC is bad. The kitchen's bad. Appliances are bad. Cabinets are bad. The flooring is bad. The heater's bad. And the bathrooms need work. It's vacant. They want to sell ASAP, but it's in good condition. It's in good condition. I bet it's fantastic. <laughs> Cha-ching. Let's take that bad boy off. All right, RJ, this lady's going to pick up. Yes. All I want for Christmas is this lady to answer the phone. She sounds pretty motivated. Here you go. Bruh. Oh, Martha. Please leave your name and number. We will return. 
return your call. Thank you. Hi, Martha. This is RJ Bates calling about your property on Dickinson Drive. Um, you had entered it on my website about selling that property. And I wanted to call and have a conversation with you and see if it would be a good fit for us. If you could give me a call back at 817-710-8689. Thank you. RJ, why don't you call back your uh, your first bonus lead to Angela? Yeah. And see if she picks up. I refuse to call him the seller. All right, bro. Call. Oh, come on, dude. It's the rules. I'm going to get someone. Don't worry about that. We got to keep going until RJ has at least a conversation. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Can we, like, can we, because, like, you make the rules, RJ, so you can actually. I, I did make the rules. And listen, the people are loving you, Munif, so keep calling. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are you're too much. Gene, well, I thought you fell asleep, man. Uh, it's only 1 a.m., man. It's not, not, not time to fall asleep yet. You thinking about buying an Italian mansion yet? I'm thinking about it. Thinking about it. But I can only stay here like three months at a time, and then I have to leave for three months. So it's like, unless I, I might be able to Airbnb it while I'm gone, but I really like Italy, man. I really like it here. It's, it's, it's like my shit. I just got to learn how to speak Italian. Imagine a big Russian speaking Italian. That's a scary sight right there. Russian? What am I saying? You're Ukrainian. I should never say that. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm both, but with what's going on in the world, it's not, not, not that much fun being Russian right now. Hello? Hey, Jason. Hello? What's going on, man? How are you? Hey, good. Who's this? This is Munif. I'm calling about your property on... Uh, uh, 4295 North U.S. Highway 1. Okay, that's the Riverfront Resort property. How can I help you? That is, sounds like a delicious property. That sounds beautiful. Riverfront Resort. Is it? Are, are you still looking to sell it? Uh, yeah, I thought about refinancing it. Yeah? So what company are you with? I'm actually not with the company. I'm a private investor. Okay. Yeah. How can I help you? Well, uh, I was going to ask you that, actually. All right, so you're looking to sell it. Um, it sounds like you wanted to refinance it, but you're, you just changed your mind. You're, you decided to sell it? I'm not sure. Honestly, if somebody comes at $1.8 million and offers market value, I'd probably take it. $1.8 million to Melbourne, Florida. Um, did I catch you at a bad time, by the way? You got a couple minutes? Uh, no, I, I got a minute. Okay. Um, yeah, it yields twenty grand a month. It's uh, there's five different rentals, two RV slips, covered boathouse, twelve car garage, acre of land right next to the uh, hottest bar and grill in town, marker ninety nine. This so, looks amazing. Yeah, yeah. Just been here thirteen years, ready for something new. You so it looks like it's a multifamily. Well, it's set up as a single, which is what Airbnb and VRBO prefer. Uh huh. But there are several buildings, so. Okay, so so it's um, help me out here. So it's like a it's like a single family, but there's several units inside of it. Uh, there's several buildings. Yeah. There's several buildings. So how how many doors is is this like five doors? Five exactly. Yeah. Got it. So what's the name of your company? I don't have a company. I'm just a guy. I'm just a private investor. Well, I have companies. I have holding companies and then subsidiaries, but I don't represent anybody. How's your number? I actually bought your number. I think you filled out a website to put your property on. Uh, I think you filled out a web form. 
So I actually okay. paid for that because I actually want to buy in Melbourne, Florida. I, I take uh, properties, I turn them into Airbnbs. Yeah, so I've been doing it the longest here in the area. We're the only resort property in town that offers all these amenities of, you know, kayaking and paddle boarding and bioluminescence tours. And uh, there's four jacuzzis and a swimming pool on property. This uh, sounds amazing. Like, it, is. It, it, it sounds amazing. So, like, why would you ever sell this? Oh, I just, my, my kids used to help me manage it. Now they're off. So, you know, I just, uh, I'm starting a new software company. Oh, yeah? And I'll be traveling with it, so. What kind of software? I'm, I'm actually, I uh, used to be in tech. Legal, myself. legal software. So, I'm building a, uh, an app for the legal industry. I already did it in healthcare, and that's uh, last time I got motivated. So. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's on LinkedIn. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I mean, are, are you in Florida? You want to come check it out, or how do you usually? I got what do you do? I got some partners in there who I might send out to look at it. I mean, can you tell me a little bit about the condition? It's an absolute mint condition. I mean, there's no leaks. The uh, roof's three years old. Uh, plumbing above ground and below ground's three years old. Um, the AC in the main house is six years old. All the other AC units for the individual renters, rentals are three years old. So I'm going to sell it as is, but I'll give a warranty on anything that you know somebody's. Wow, you're 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 the first seller I've ever talked to. I've been doing this for a while. The first seller who would give a warranty on the condition of their property. So you must yeah. be really wow. I've, I didn't build it to sell it. And neither did the guy I bought it from, mm. and neither did the guy he bought it from. I know the original owner, Dave Workman, mm. is a friend of the family, and so is Mark Turner. So this property has been in three families that have been friends for 50 years. Beautiful. So it's no, yeah, there's no secret. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Yeah. And, um, man, Jason, like, have you thought about just getting a broker and listing this? I didn't hear you. What? Have you thought about getting a broker and just listing this? Because it's, it's an MLS sale uh, by owner. For sale by owner, got it. Yeah, there's MLS only flat listings. I, I graduated from three real estate schools. My grandfather's real estate attorney. My okay. dad was a real estate broker. So, so you're yeah, an investor well, through and through, right? Generations of it, yeah. yeah. So would you consider seller financing on this? Say it again, the phone broke up. Would you consider seller financing on this? Only on a couple hundred thousand of it. Only on a couple hundred thousand of it. So you're looking for, let's say, let's just use your numbers, right? So, 1.1 cash and I'll finance the other seven. I actually might be able to do that. I can hold the paper for about three years. What interest rate would you want on it? Well, I don't know if you're familiar with hard money lending, but my family lent it at 12% for many years here in Bavard County. Um, Civic does it for 7.5% and uh, Velocity does it for 8.5%. So I could beat it probably at about five or six. Trying to use now. So say you finance the rest. So the, the way I'd probably do this is I'd probably use one of my commercial lenders to come in with the 1.1 cash. They would want to be in first position. And would you hold the note in second position for the rest? Hmm. That's a good question. I'd have to see the contract. You have to email it to me. Yeah, I would, I'd be happy to. So I, like we could talk, right? Like um, those are some details and logistics we figure out. But uh, say we, we, I got you your price and we worked the terms out, uh, how soon would you be looking to sell this? Well, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the market here. Um, as soon as the last two times that I listed it, mm -hmm. I had multiple full price offers and that proved to me that it was way too high. So I pulled it off both times. Well, I, help me understand. Trying to tell me to list it at $2 million because I put in another jacuzzi and an in-ground pool. 
So and the, the neighboring restaurant just uh, dumped a ton of money in renovations. So I'll probably relist it. Yeah, two million uh, here in a couple of weeks. So you just said one point eight. Now you're saying two. That would be a quick sell. That would be a last ditch thing if I had to hold paper. But mm. I mean, we'll see. Yeah. So you send an offer. You're more than welcome. There's all kinds of information on Zillow and the internet. So. You know, if you want to check it out and if you're serious, yeah, send somebody and meet with me. Yeah. So Jason, I'm, I'm very serious, but unfortunately, like, uh, it, it almost sounds like you're, you don't want to sell it, right? Like, it sounds like you, you put, you put it on the MLS twice, took it off. I don't, I mean, yeah. I don't have to. That's for sure. Right. But if somebody comes, like I said, with 1.8 or 2 million bucks, I'd probably take it. Right. So what what if they paid you about, you know, sixty five percent of it up front and you, you hold the paper on a second position, you make a little bit of interest on your money, right? I mean would you take something like that? I don't know. I haven't seen it in front of me yet, so I'll send it over. <laughs> okay. Come check out the property and send it over. I mean it's a well established resort rental property, uh one of a kind. You do weddings there and so you can host an entire wedding party. So it's pretty unique stuff. Got it. So say I sent you an offer. Say you liked it. Um, I'll put it, I'll put your. Uh, I'll underwrite this at. Um, you know, you financing about seven hundred thousand. I'll, I'll put in one point eight million. Um, I'll put in. I'll have to go talk to my lender. So there's a little bit of homework I'm going to have to do. Uh, to to get this put together. But uh, say I did this, I mean, would you, what are we looking at, right? Because am I just going to be kind of holding the bag while you list it and, and, and wait on it for four months? Or should I just call you back in a few months, you know, when maybe after you've listed it and after you've seen other offers out there? Well, like I said, when I list it, I'm going to list it at 2 mil, see what happens. Um, so, Yeah. Okay. All right. So why don't we do this? Why don't I make you an offer for 1.8 mil? Let me get back to my people. Let's get on a phone call and let's get it in front of you on your desk. You think about it. And do you think you'll have, let's say, um, you'll be leaning one way or another? Cause, cause what I'm, what I'm afraid of is just getting, you know, all worked up about a deal, getting people moving. I understand. And, you know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. You, you get it, right? I'm so like, years old, I've been sales thirty years. I understand it very well. Yeah, you, you get you get me, right? So like, like I, I'm happy. Like I want to buy this. I want to turn this into an Airbnb. I want a cash flow. I, I can get the financing. I can get if you're happy to hold a note and you make money and you don't have that huge tax liability in this tax year. Um, so if you're gonna if you're gonna um, loan, loan some money, do you have a pre approval letter? I can get all of those for you, right? I can get pre approval. I can get right. all of that. Well, I guess, right. Like you're saying, I don't want to waste your time on either. I mean, I've been down this road a couple of times. Oh, so. I know. Well, so um, so that's you know. that's the thing, right? Like you you took it off yourself off the market, right? Like twice, right? So like I I, just, I want a little bit of assurance. This won't be a third time. You you're not sure if you sell this if you don't. Well, there's uh, one way to do it. That's to put money in escrow and sign over a, a letter. I mean, you know, it's yes this is this is what so, we're talking if you do the comps yeah. uh this type of property income producing i've seen about 400 a square foot so 1.8 that's 290 a square foot gift so um yeah there's there's two different six car garages on property and um i i have 12 vehicles so um i need it the 12 car garages have been packed this whole time in retina. Mm. But my kids moved out, so I'll be selling the assets out of the north six car garage, which will be converted into another two bedroom, uh, which will bring another four grand a month. So these rentals are booked out for months. I don't know if you know the market here, but it's, uh, it's not going to stop because we have the space programs and NASA and Grillman and SpaceX. Right. And so the market here is stronger than anywhere in the nation. So that's why I continue and to each, grow. each of these units is on Airbnb? Uh, yes. We just uh, we, we, we were only on Airbnb for a while. 
and then we doubled the rates and went on multiple sites and it's still right it's still you know, flooded so right you know when i started six years ago we were getting 40 50 60 dollars a night now it's 200 plus a night yeah worked out for months all right well so let me let me get back to my people uh i'll put something a little bit more concrete on paper i'm, I'm putting you in it you have my email address there no i'd love your email address what's your email what is, oh, which one did i use um let's see here you used i don't see your email on this phone you may not just put your email What's your, what's your email? Uh, Got it. So let's do this. Let me put something on paper um, and then send you an email and then give you a phone call. We can review that together. What's a good time for a follow-up? Just if you would shoot a text first, then yeah. we can coordinate. We can coordinate. All right. Thank you, Jason. You're the best. Sounds good. All right. Bye. All right. All right, guys. That could be interesting. Yeah. So, so that I like immediately was like, okay, so I think he's going to list this. He's probably going to go. If someone buys a $2 million multifamily, um, they're usually going to go get a loan, but those are typically tough. So, um, it might sell on the market, but it might not. And, you know, if we can present to him a strong offer using what um, we like to call the Morby method, which is where he holds the down payment, right? So say I go get financing, I go get an asset-based loan um, based on the performance of this property, not using my personal credit, but based on the asset, I can go get a loan. And then if he uh, seller finances what would have been my down payment, I can literally get into this multifamily property for $0 out of my pocket. So that's really the angle I was, I was going for. Who knows? He doesn't seem that motivated. So that was, that was a challenge, but um, it did. He's also a salesman. He's keeping his cards close to his chest. He's trying to justify two listings that got removed. So, yes. So, uh, are, are, are sellers with properties like that ever like super motivated? Because cash flow in twenty grand a month, like I wouldn't Sometimes, be motivated either. You never, you never know, right? Like maybe um, I think he's a tired landlord. Like if he's, I don't think he's having someone else manage it. Oh yeah, his kids. Like, he said his kids were managing. So I think it's like it's Headaches. that pull where he's like self managing all of this, but then like he wants to do other stuff, but he also wants to get the most money out of it. So it's this constant pull. 1.1 million is a good motivator too. Oh yeah. But uh, I'm going to have a separate conversation. I'm just going to call him out of the blue and be like, Hey, like, what are you going to be paying on taxes on this? And, Oh, I, I didn't think about my tax thing. Oh, you know, Oh shoot. Like, yeah. What are your capital gains at? And then we can restructure the conversation toward a seller finance, which is more beneficial to me and show him the tax advantages of selling this on seller finance. But I didn't want to do that on this call. I wanted to build a little bit of rapport and have an upfront contract with him. My upfront contract being, hey, like I'm serious, but I don't really have time for time wasters, right? And he said that verbally. I wanted him to verbally say something just so he actually doesn't coast me. I like it, man. But RJ, let's get you on the phone, man. Please. <laughs> yes. I want uh, this lead in Waterville, Maine. Excellent. All right, let's get it pulled up here. They have every reason in the world to sell. We got Maine, Waterville, Maine. Okay. They're selling emergency reasons, financial reasons, sell without showing downsizing, moving close to family, and they're relocating. Property is in good condition, but the bathroom needs work, paint inside, the boiler water heater needs to be replaced, electrical problems, plumbing problems, flooring problems, the outside paint has problems. <laughs> They've owned it for six to nine years, and they're behind on their mortgage. Jesus. Please, for the love of God, answer the phone. Oh, my gosh. Is it I can solve all of these What's issues. With this lead, man? Is it Amber? Is that Johnny Depp's ex-wife? <laughs> yes. Let's see where that can go. Can I buy it? 
Hey, by the way, guys, if you're not signed up yet, we're doing a giveaway. Five people, five people that sign up before the end of the show. We'll pick random five people at the end of the show and get $100 balance to your account that you can use towards leads. Uh, and if you're already a member, but you want to get entered into that drawing, you got to share the stream. Go to RJ's Facebook and share this stream in five real estate groups. You can do it very easily from your mobile phone. Just screenshot that you did it. And then uh, post a screenshot in the comments on the Facebook. All right. I'm sending all the information over now. So hey, Gene. Yeah. I'm very impressed with your platform. Thanks, very, man. My Thank first you. time calling personally your leads. Thank you, bro. I'm very impressed with your platform. Thank you very much. It, it's it's the team that does it, man. I, I just sit here and drink champagne out of the bottle at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and get out of their way. <laughs> Welcome to the U.S. Cellular voicemail. Two, no. zero, seven, six, Dude, she's five, using U.S. Cellular. She is in foreclosure, seven, man. Nine is not available. <laughs> Please leave your message after the tone. That was my first cell phone. You know what? Cellular. We're calling from a different phone. Maybe it is your phone, man. Let's try that. Speed the lead. Look at that. Let me hit cancel instead of buy. I'm an idiot. Up. Next time. Welcome to the Oh, but she's there. Triple dial, baby. Triple dial. I'm not I'm leaving until dial. RJ gets a seller to talk to. I know, man. He needs an actual conversation. Wait, RJ has not talked to a not seller. A single, not a single, yeah. No Mooney said backs? three, yeah. Mooney said three, RJ said zero. Is it like, is some is some kind of game on tonight or what? I don't know what's going on tonight. There, there's NBA and NHL playoffs. Hmm. But we started calling well before that. Dude, maybe your phone is spam. It might be marked as spam, dude. I don't. I don't use my phone. The only time I ever use my phone is for this. Yeah, I don't think because he's called me before on his phone and it, it was fine. No, Medley wasn't watching. I just tagged him because it sounds like his kind of property, the Florida thing. You've reached very right fast. No, no go. All right, well, I, I get think another we, one. Call yeah, another please. One. Like, let's just have you go down until you get a call. <laughs> I need, I need a call. As you much as we love Monique talking, yeah. The people came here to watch the king himself speak. This, yeah, this one right here might as well be the Monique Morby show. Yeah, got like an hour and a half of you talking. <laughs> exactly. Get that shit out of here. It was good, though. <laughs> oh, they were great conversations, good. no doubt. Thank you. But uh, it was different. I came here to watch RJ speak. They see me all the time. I don't ever want Munif to sell me anything. <laughs> I really don't. The guy's like, no, remor no remorse. <laughs> Your call has been forwarded to an This is uh ridiculous, man. I I know. It, it literally has been like a... <laughs> You haven't called Tamara Williams, have you? Um no, I don't think so. No. I have to highlight Jason though. It's like uh... Your call has been forwarded. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> not, not even going to ring this time. It's like it's like your your caller ID says Nigerian prince or something. Man. Seriously. <laughs> Hey, real quick though, before I dial this, we're signing the contract with the woman from last week's show. Nice. Um, in Georgia. And she called me and I was on a conference call today. 
and I texted her and I said, hey, I can't answer, but someone from my team named Josh is going to call you back. And so, Liam, I don't know if you remember this or not, but she said she was going to look me up. Yep. So Josh calls, and she's like, that RJ is so inspiring. I've watched all his videos. <laughs> 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 and like, hey, you're looking too. And I was like, finally. It only took six years, but I finally got a woman to say I was good looking on YouTube. There you <laughs> go. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, oh my not, gosh! Not today, bro. Keep dialing. Like uh, I, yes, I'm not. I refuse to dial. I'm not. I'm done. Uh, I, mean, I used to work at a bank. Remember some all of the earlier the leads will pick up right now. Yeah, potentially. That's a good plan. Hey, is William there? Hey, William, I'm calling about 906 Harmon Avenue on uh, in uh, Panama City there. You had entered it on my yeah, website. So you, you said you wanted to sell that property. You still looking to sell it? Yeah, I'm trying to sell it. Awesome. How much are you looking to get for that property? 145 145 All right. And uh, what's going on with the property? So I just got to move for a job, and, I'm, and uh, I want to sell it. And I mean uh, – I'm not. I'm not going to sell it for nothing because I know what property value is worth there. Yep. And uh, I bought my house before the hurricane, and uh, and like the house is doubled after that. But I bought it for one or three. I've had it for like four and a half years. Uh, I need one forty-five. Uh, I'll tell you what, one forty right now. I'll sell it. All right. I like the way you move. Yeah, I gotta go. I got, I got, I got stuff to do. I'm gonna make a lot of money down here, uh, but I gotta sell it and start over. So, 140 at the least. I want 145. We can talk in between there. Uh, any, anything other than that, you don't need to call me. Where, uh, where are you moving to? Uh, down Crystal River. Okay. How quick? I'm in, a I'm in a seafood business. Okay. My my business up here. I mean, we sell a million dollars worth of seafood a week. But down here, they're real slow. I'm going to come down here and uh, buy me a little property down here and take over something and make me a million dollars a week. There you go. Uh, how quickly are you wanting to move? Now, right now. Gotcha. So ASAP. Send me a check and you can have it. <laughs> well, it's going to take a little bit longer than that because we got to go through title and stuff like that. So I, got you. I got a lawyer if he can help. All right. Very good. We'll see. You're a three bed, two bath, right? Uh, three beds. It's one and a half bath. It's three or four bedroom if you want. Uh, the biggest room in the house I didn't use as a bedroom, but it could be four bedrooms if you want. Okay. Now you said you wanted one forty, but I'm I got no I got no commissions, and I'm going to cover the closing costs and all that. So what's the best price you can do for me? Well, I'll tell you what. I owe like 90 something. Look up what I owe exactly. And um, you have permission to look at anything up you want. I see $100,556. No, it should be less than that now. Am I right? But, man, it should be in the 90s now, but whatever. Um, like I said, if you give me a check for 40 grand, you can have the house. 40 grand over what you owe? Yes. Now, now a realtor wants to put it up for 160. I don't have time for this is amazing. To look at the house and all that stuff. I, right. I got stuff to do. Right. Where is this lead? Okay. Let's see here. And what it, what does the property need any work done to it? What's the condition like on the inside? Because you live it's there, just right? Cosmetic stuff. Like I mean, we lived in it, so we had pictures and stuff like that. It's got a like a little drop ceiling in the back that needs to be fixed. Uh, to be honest with you, 100% honest, it needs insulation in the attic for the new buyer. And within the next year, it'll probably need a new air conditioning unit. I ain't trying to rip nobody off. Understood. So let's see. Give me two seconds. Let me do some math here.
This is amazing. RJ is going to buy this like this. Uh, da, 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 da. You said 90 something, right? You think it's closer yeah. to 90 or closer to 100? Uh, uh, somewhere in there. I, I mean, I, I'm not in town right now. I, I, I want to say it's closer to 90 than 100. Because, I mean, my old lady did some weird refinance and shit like two years ago. I see that. September 28, 2020. She got it for 100732 All right, hold on. I can reverse engineer this then. Give me two seconds because it's 30 year note. Yeah, I think she messed up doing that. No, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. She did the right thing. You got you got cash in your pocket, right? Yeah. 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 No, no. I didn't get no cash out of that. Oh, so she just did it to get a lower interest rate because you got all yeah, the way. I, I don't know. She, she thinks she's smart. Well, she got you all the way down to 2.9%. So, right. I mean, I, I, I mean, I understand keeping the thing ain't bad, but I'm just trying to move and right. I need a chunk of money to do something to make more money. Well, I'm about to put that chunk of money in your pocket. Okay. All right. Let's talk. Yeah. Give me two seconds here. I'm about to see exactly how much you owe on this. 41928. Uh yep, 419, that's your payment. For taxes and stuff. Right, right. I, I like the way you talk. I, I'm all about this. I'm a, all these other people are like, yeah, we'll talk about it. No, I ain't trying to talk about it. Let's do something. Right. You probably owe ninety six thousand nine hundred and forty eight dollars and seventy two cents. Unless you unless you overpaid, so I need to put. Uh, you said forty thousand plus yeah, yeah, ninety one thirty something, yeah, ninety six or whatever one thirty six. Yeah, all right, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so one thirty six, and I am thinking I need to be at your thirteen hundred square feet. Yeah, yeah. Plus, there's little additions. I think it's like fifteen something the addition okay well that moves the needle in certain directions for me i and think me, and me, I mean, it means i gotta do either more work and but i get more money on the back side which i got a 15 oh yeah there we go if it's 1500 then we're good because that gets me to another number that i need to be at and then magical so 136 I'm saying 135 is where I really need to be, but I think I can I can squeeze that thousand out. I can do 136. Well, like I said, bro, you give me a check for 40 grand right now. Take my house. All right. So here's what I want to do. Um, are you familiar with DocuSign? Uh, uh, sort of, bro. I was I was in the in the federal penitentiary for 11 years. I'm not good with the phone shit. You got an email. But, uh, I do have an email. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you over a contract right now. You can buy my house? Yeah. I'm sending it over to you for one, uh, 136 All right. So I'll get a $40,000 check. You're going to get 136000 Now, if you owe 96000 then yeah, you get I'm, I'm just saying, I'm based on you owe 96000 So on that, yes, you would get 40000 yeah, yeah, I mean, give or take a couple. I know it's in the 90-something range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I I, I can't guarantee you it's going to be exactly 40000 but it's right, going right, to be. Right. I, I ain't going to haggle you over a couple grand because I'm going to make a lot more than that. Right. If I sell my house. Exactly. And I'm going to make a lot more. That's why I didn't haggle you on the grand that I needed. So. Okay. Uh, what, what are you going to do in my house? Rent it or just resell it? Either or. I haven't decided yet. Okay, but you know, you know, I'm giving you a good deal on this. I do. You know, I, I could sit out for 20 grand more, and I don't care. If you can get me a $40,000 check in the next, whatever, however long it takes, how yep. long does it take? I'm going to put on here 20, let's see, what's the day, Tuesday? I'm going to put on here the 31st, so I'm going to try to make it happen within this month. Okay. All right. All right. And let me get your name. William. Yeah. May I examine? Yeah. You got the spelling there? Yeah, I got it.
right. And uh, you're going to be able to look at this uh, this contract when I send it over to you here in about three minutes. Yeah, uh, you got my email, Max Zaman, Will. Yeah, yeah, hold on, hold on. I'll get it from you in a second. In the contract right. right now. So what were you about to do tonight? Uh, I'm actually out of town tonight. Uh, I'm down here in like Crystal River. I'm checking out. I'm in a seafood business, right? Right. And uh, where I'm at, I mean, my job, we send out a million dollars worth of seafood a week. But uh, I'm going to sell the house and come down here. And uh, they're, they're, they're behind the times down here. So I'm going to try and catch them up to speed and help them sell a million dollars worth of seafood a week. Did you think you were going to sell your house tonight? Not tonight. If I knew I was going to sell it, uh, I got to sell it. I just got to. Right. The old lady, listen, bro, I come home from a fishing trip two weeks ago. Goddamn old lady was just gone, moved everything out. So, you know, I'm not staying in that house anymore. I got you. Well, I'm happy that uh, you answered the phone. I've, uh, yeah, I've, I've only... I have not been answering phones. Oh, and, uh, you and everyone else tonight. This and, and and thank you, actually, and and thank you for just fucking being direct. You know what I mean? I, I'm not trying to waste time. I'm not trying to just oh we might well, yeah I'll talk to this guy all that dumb shit. No, I'm trying to sell my house. It's worth more than I'm asking for, and I just I just gotta go and I need a check. Well, I, I'll be I'll be plain and simple with you. I'll be honest with you. Um, there's certain people that are meant to do business with uh, certain people. And I think you and yeah, I were. Yeah, I, I, kind of, I kind of feel like that right now. Yeah, you, you and I were meant to do business together. So okay, let, let, me get, let me get let me get that. Me a chance. I'm doing and, it. Uh, and I'll bring you some fish once a month. How about that? Uh, <laughs> there you go. What's your email? All right, I'm uh, about to send this to you in email, and it should be there probably in 20 seconds. And then, uh, we am I signing the paper to sell my house right now? No, you're signing a contract, so you're giving me the right to purchase your property and open up escrow. We're not gonna, we're not actually going to uh, sell. You're not actually going to sell the property for another three weeks. That's what you'll do at the title company on May 31st. So all this is is saying you're agreeing to sell me your house. For one hundred thirty-six thousand dollars. All right, and like I said, no, I, I will not take less than a forty thousand dollar check for my. You will not take anything less than one hundred thirty-six thousand. Yes, we agree yeah, on yes. that. Yes, if you write me a check for forty grand, that's the least I'll do. Man, it's worth it. I'm, I'm, I'm compromising here. I'm, I'm trying to hurry up, and I'm just being very honest. That's that. That's what I need, and that's what I'll do. All right, so I just sent over that contract to you. Okay. Uh, well, I got an e sign it or whatever. Yes, sir. All right, I'll do that. I'm gonna lock your phone in so I know it's you, so I'll answer all these. Well, I signed into a bunch of websites, but I just didn't answer their calls. Hold on, I want to stay on the phone with you, make sure I can answer any questions. Right, hold on, hold on, let me hit. Let me get in there. Let me get to my email here. Hold on. Uh, uh, titanium document? Yes, sir. All right. I hit that. Review document. So we're both going to make some money on this, right? Um, yes, sir. 
Okay, that's all I care about. I'm definitely going to make some money, and you're going to go sell a million dollars worth of fish. You're going to make more money than I'm going to make. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to lie. Where are you at? You still you in Texas? Yeah, I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. I got you. I'm going to come down to Dallas in a couple weeks. Man, have you ever been to Texas before? I've been to Texas. That's what got me in trouble. I used to go to McAllen and, uh, <laughs> and bring things back. You know what I'm uh, yeah, yeah. McAllen is uh, kind of Texas. It's also a part of another country. Right, yeah. I used to, well, actually, I went to Renosa. But, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, they got me with 22,000 pounds. Oh, jeez. Back in 07. Gave me 11 years for that. Jeez. Uh, and now it's legal. Exactly. All right. Oh, God. All right. I need my readers for this. All right. I'm in it. All right. So the first line is just saying today's date. You're the seller. Titanium right, investments. Buyer. I'm the buyer. Seller agrees to sell. Buyer agrees to purchase the subject property. Subject property, your address, 906 Harmon. Right. 136000 All cash right. transaction. Purchase price is net to seller. Subject prorated taxes. Buyer pays all closing costs. That's me. Today, you got to sign it before tomorrow's date. Right? So that's why we're on the phone now, because you're going to sign it now. Well, I'm trying to get down to the signing part. Yeah, dude, right, yeah let's, just, let's just get down there. All right, I got, I got the yellow box that says seller. Yeah, click it. Touch it. All right, I'll draw my signature. Uh, it looks hell or whole, but whatever. Adopt and sign. And then when you're done, just click the finish button. Finish. All right. Oh, hold on. My phone's required. All right. Finish. Hey, you ain't ripping me off now here. It ain't no weird, is it? I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I do this so often and I'm out there in front of so many people, you just Google my name tonight. You'll see YouTube videos. You see websites. I do the, I teach people how to do this all across the country. Okay. I would right. be a, a complete dumbass to screw you over one property because I built my whole life on my reputation. So, no, okay. I'm not screwing okay. you. So I respect that. I'm, I'm going to build my new life off you helping me out right now. There you go, brother. Hey, that's the reason why I do this. You had a need, and and I had a need, and we helped each other. And so I'm, I'm, I'm going to enjoy I'm a Viking you, beer right now and enjoy this victory together. Okay, I will meet you for a beer one day. But I, I'm going to tell you, I'm a good dude. I work real hard. And like I said, I've only been out of prison five years. I own my own home, two vehicles, did everything I could do right. But, you know. Uh, things happen with my old lady and my kid, and now I got to do something different. So here's here's the thing, man. Um, no one gave me a, a chance at starting my own life except for me. No, you know what? I got the feeling you didn't go to college. I know that. Yep. You did not go to college. You may have finished high school, but you might not have. <laughs> I finished high school. Okay. And then you probably did some dumb shit for two or three years working at some dumb ass fucking jobs and realized working for people for twelve dollars an hour is stupid and you just made shit happen. That that was called Pizza Hut. And, and, and am I right? And you're absolutely right. Let me tell you what happened, okay? This uh this jackass from Jacksonville, Florida, he worked for a corporate. This fat fuck walked in and said that I was a uh, a glorified shift manager that should have never been promoted to, to restaurant general manager. And at that moment I walked out, I never talked to anyone ever again. And I went and I created my own reality. And now I have the opportunity to on a phone call in 18 minutes, have a signed contract to buy properties in all 50 States for hundreds of thousands of dollars to help people like you go start your own life. This is, this is what I wanted to do, and this is what I love doing. And, and to be honest with you, because I have a company now, I don't really get to talk to very many people. 
I've been trying to get on on the phone with someone for two hours and 24 minutes tonight. And you're the first person that's answered the phone. And so I just appreciate the fact that you actually answered the damn phone so I could actually help you. So uh, I look forward to doing some some good business with you, man. And, and hey, let's stay. I, I'm going to pass you off to my team. But when we're done with this, I, I want to stay in contact because I'm going to buy some damn fish from you, okay? No, no, no. Fish is free for me, bro. <laughs> I love it. The, the, I love it. Just help me move on, man. There Stop. you go. I need to start over. I need to start over now. All right. Well, we're going to get this done this month, okay? All right. So what? You need somebody to come check out the house and yep. stuff like that? Yeah. So what I'll do is is we're going to get this sent off to the, the title company tomorrow morning, and then I'll have Cassie, who's my partner. She'll reach out to you, and she'll schedule the time of when we're going to get somebody to come out there and look at the property. But it, we're going to get moving on this pretty quickly. So we'll be in contact with you probably tomorrow morning. Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, here, here's my answer. Do me a favor. Text first so I know it's you. Very good. Will do. Because I got a million people calling me about my house right now. All right. Well, you ignore all of them because you're under contract with me now. All right? And we're going to get this taken care of. Tell me it's you or or tell me it's your team or whatever. Come by my house. Don't give me a check so I can leave there and come here. Yes, sir. Will do. All right. All right, brother. Have a great night. Hey, go have a beer, okay? No, I will. All right, man. Have a good night. Bye. Bye. You too, man. Bye. Bye. Holy shit. Was there any doubt? <laughs> Was there any doubt? I, I really, I, I ask everybody watching. We knew he just needed one seller. Isn't that I what just, we said? I just needed to talk to someone. He that's just needed one right. seller. Was there any doubt that that's why I said I, I don't want to talk to anybody until RJ goes because he just needed one. Mooney, RJ, you know what was funny when you were on the phone with the guy that that burped into the phone. Yeah, I, I told my assistant, I said, "Go grab me a beer," because obviously that's what it's going to be like tonight. I need to talk to someone with a beer in my hand, and then <laughs> the ultimate seller that you need to have a beer in your hand with. Like, yes. That was a cool call. That was cool. Very cool. I, I, my heart broke, not because you got the contract. My heart broke because I wish you bought it sub two so I could buy that deal. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I almost pitched that, but then it was like, it's, it's no. a really good deal. And yeah, and mm-hmm. I'm just going to roll with it. You You're going to, yeah, exactly. I think it would have affected the call, but I was hoping and praying you would yeah. get it on terms. Cause and, um, and you heard what he said, right? There's, there's personalities involved with this. Thank you for being a straight shooter and just yeah. doing what I asked you to do. Right. And and sometimes you just got to read between the lines there. I, I tell our students there's triggers for sub two. There's triggers for seller finance. Monique, you saw that earlier tonight. I, I immediately was like, hey, this, we, this is the trigger for seller right. finance. You got to pitch it. Um, on this one, uh, I don't care about any of the triggers for creative finance. You just heard it in his voice like, bro, I just need cash. I need yep. 40 grand right now. Yep. And he, he didn't want to be sold on the, the sub two and don't worry about it. Just straight. Cash. Yeah. This was, this was, a, you knew exactly what he needed. And yeah. then you provided that to him in the most simple terms, humanly possible. Like, Hey, like we're going to do this. We're going to do that. You explained it to, to him in a way that he clearly and easily understood it. And that's why you get contracts and other people yeah. don't. Exactly. And, and what's crazy about that gene is you heard it. Um, he said, other people are trying to reach out to him. So people have bought that lead. And, and I think he one, filled out a ton of sites. I think it's, he filled it's out that and sites. he filled out other sites too. Yeah. yeah but, but here's my point in bringing this up because I have people ask me about this all the time. Even they'll comment on my videos on here where I'm locking up contracts. They'll be like, hey, bro, sweet job locking down that contract. But should I buy a lead that's already been bought from someone else? And my answer is always, yes, why not? Why? What are you worried about? If it's locked because, up, you get your money back. Right. If it's sold, then guess what? You get your money back. But if it's not, it's no different than you pulling a list on ListSource or PropStream or Batch Leads or whatever you're trying to do your marketing. Because guess what? All those lists have been pulled a million times. So in this scenario, all he needed was the right person to call him at the right time. And that was me tonight. How many so, cold calls do you think you would take to get somebody like that? Um, a lot, five, a ten thousand, maybe. Yeah, I mean, we we <laughs> like that. Yeah, I like mean, that. we're that's, gonna that, go through. We're gonna go through a lot of cold calling to get to yeah. that right there. 
And, and, it, and to be cool. honest with you, it's pretty easy on the site to identify. Like we had some. What does this lead look like? What, can we see? Can we see what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll bring it up right here. I've got it right here. This is William. This is Panama City. This yep. thing. That was Dude, it doesn't even look motivated. It doesn't, except for ASAP. But it says downsizing. People usually don't think downsizing is like a motivating thing. Right. Two hundred and forty-eight dollars. And how much are you gonna make of this? Well, initially it was probably more like three hundred something. Three hundred ten. I would say I would say somewhere in the range of ten to twelve thousand is what we'll make on a whole selfie. Let's just plug that into a calculator. It's like a fifty x. Fifty x ROI. No. You said ten to twenty. Yeah, just call it ten thousand. Ten thousand. Yeah, so that's fifty. Forty x. Thirty-two. Thirty-two x right there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean you, should, uh, you can expect I, I close every day, but still. The right now, this is probably our top lead source because of the way our business was set up with texting. We've had to limit the amount of volume that we're doing on texting now. Now, mind you, texting is still producing very well for us. But this right here, I, you cannot replace what we just did. Hmm. And I mean, Liam, you've been on every single show I've been on. Has hmm. there been one yet where I have not gotten a contract? No, I don't think I don't so. Think so. I mean, maybe There's, one where nobody picked up the entire time. Even on that one, there was one with Nick Luivano. I talked to two people, and I yep. got a contract on that. Now, he yep. canceled the next day. He told me I was freaking crazy, but he signed a contract. Yeah, he did. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, it, look, the, the platform's great. Munif, what do you think? I mean, you already, you already talked wow. about Wow. I was so impressed by the platform. I was so impressed. I love the leads I talked to. I love the seller's motivation. I love the fact that I can say, like, I was straight up. Like, people asked me, they were like, How'd you find my number? It's like, hey, you filled out a website and I paid for this. Like I paid yeah, for the data. Right. And like they're like, Yeah, cool. Like, no problem. That was and some RJ shit right there, Munif. I learned from the best. <laughs> that was like me. That was like me telling the lady in closures limits, like, I'm in a competition. I need you to sign this contract right now. <laughs> You're like, I bought your phone number from a website <laughs> that you entered it on. Like, straight up. I loved it. Another important thing to note too is when you're doing mass outbound, right? TCPA laws, those are just something you have to take into account as a cost of business. You're going to get sued at right. some point or another. It's going to cost you money. You have to factor that in. When you're doing this, these are inbound. These guys have already expressed their intent. They've opted in. You literally, it, they can't sue you for this because you're not a spam because they opted into receiving these messages from you already. All right. Well, Liam, uh, are, what are, where do we go from here? Are we good or? Uh... Well, so what we were going to do from here uh, was we were going to we were going to have, uh, we were, gonna have some... we're done. Encore. We're done. What what more is there? I don't understand. We got a <laughs> encore. Ooh, oh, RJ's there? gone. RJ we're said, done. "You know what? I mean, I don't even want to hear the results." I was going to say no, okay. we were going to have some judging, <laughs> but based on uh, based on RJ's contract right there. It's a guarantee. Dude, we right we now. hot right now. I feel like a couple more calls got man, money being made. Dean, you want me to call someone else? Is that what you're asking? Mooney, oh. do you need to go? I have to pee. <laughs> Bro, did you see me leave in the middle of your call? <laughs> I muted myself. I ran through the office and I said, I'm calling a Munif right now. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we can't leave until we yeah, someone's busting our balls there. But all right, pick the five winners. <laughs> How are you gonna guys, do that, Jim? All right, let's it's see. currently well. How about this? How about this, guys? It's six thirty-eight p.m. You guys have two minutes to sign up. Two minutes yeah, left to sign up. We got five people. We're gonna give a hundred dollar credit to, so you guys can go in and do that. So two two minutes. And it's gonna be closer to one minute here. So sign up. Link is in the description, and that gives RJ money, which in turn helps Munif because Munif is a JV partner of RJ Bates. So I, I'm I'm gonna do uh, RJ. We're gonna JV on a deal together this year. I'm I'm down, bro. Let's do it. That'd be dope. Maybe even this uh, multi-family Airbnb. You know, getting this for zero dollars out of park it, turning it into I'm a five-minute Airbnb in Florida. Can we have a trilogy of this RJ Munif calls. Yeah, I love it. This is so much fun. Like, <laughs> I, like this is a lot. Yeah, of you fun. having you having a good time, man? I, I hope you having a good time, man. I'm having the best time.
Well, the one thing that you can guarantee about Munif is, is he will never have a problem coming on and, and calling sellers. I mean, he literally was live doing this on his own Facebook before he came on here. So this is right. Do you have a Twitch? Blowout. Yeah, I have like a Twitch stream and like a YouTube and a Facebook. And uh, I love like this. People ask me, but like, oh, like, how do you feel like losing, like getting second place? There is no losing when you live your dream life. Like, this is my dream life. I get to live my dream. I get to work with, collaborate with, and talk with the people I look up to and admire. So, like, this is what life is about, right? But like, didn't you recently get to move to Phoenix, too? I did. I, I, okay. I quit my day job. Phoenix. Oh, I, I quit my job as a cybersecurity engineer. I flew out to Phoenix where I met my beautiful, be my beautiful girlfriend. Come here. Come here, honey. She's my transaction coordinator. Come here. Come here. Come here. She's here. She's been comping for me. Come here. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> She's shy. This is like a theme. The the the, the significant other is, is yes. The this is Love Francis. She is my transaction coordinator. Hey, Hello, and I love my better half. You guys did great. You guys are awesome. That was a lot. That was a especially, lot. Especially especially me. I did I did the I did the best out of all. You <laughs> did yeah. the best. Find the brightest. <laughs> Bye. Oh man. But uh, this is so much fun. I'd love and be honored to do this again. And um, yeah, you're the best. What can I hey, say? Hey, man, this was, a, this was a lot of fun. This is why I wanted to do this with you, because I knew that we could provide value for people. Um, not, it, it, you know, listen, we, we call it a competition. Someone asked, what are the stakes? Uh, there, there are no stakes. I, I mean, listen, listen, we're... We're coming on here to provide value, to show our different styles, our problem-solving skills, the way we do this all day, every day. So for us, it's it's a pleasure to be able to come on here and showcase this platform uh, that Speed Delete has created. Um, I'm very passionate about it. I tell everyone, like, listen, you're missing out if you're not buying leads on this. And, and you saw that tonight. And then also just to showcase someone like Munif. I mean, to put him on this platform – uh, maybe there are some people on here that never seen him before, or never heard of him, uh, and vice versa by inviting Munif on here. Maybe there's people that never see me and, uh, and never heard about speed elite. That's why we do this. This is amazing. This is, um, this is really amazing. And if we get a deal from any of this, this is like, incredible. yeah, well, some of us did get deals, Munif. I mean, maybe I you get a deal. I know. I was hoping you'd uh, buy that stuff. Oh, it hurt. You're so nice. And my, my trash talking took over. I had to, do, I had to drop it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I just made fun of like my child or something. I'm like, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean it. It's okay. It's okay. I, I, um... at, at least RG didn't put the belt into the, into the, into the screen of this yeah. camera. It was, it was right there the whole night. It was right there. I, know. I saw it. But I mean, that is what's on the line. This is the most prestigious closer show on the entire internet. There's no, there's no yeah. other real estate show that comes yeah. close to the level of conversations that's on here. Everybody's yeah. got to gen their own leads. They don't yeah. like literally tonight, like, you know, thousands of dollars of high quality leads. No other show can provide that. No other mm -hmm. show can provide that. And, and guys, I, I just want to say a quick shout out to our team, everyone that makes it happen. The the guys that are that built the platform, our software guys, our marketing guys that are generating the actual leads. Uh, this, you know, thanks to myself, was risking the shitload of money to generate all this, spend all this ad spend, and and just shout out to our whole team, Liam promoting this thing. Mm -hmm. You know, RJ just just absolute. It was a huge risk to build this platform. Uh, it ain't been done before, right? You, you, no, nobody spent a bunch of money up front, right. throw a bunch of leads out there without even knowing if people are going to buy them or not. Like, good right. thing it worked out. Otherwise, I would be not in Italy, but I'd be in fucking my home country, Kyrgyzstan. But you know, it's all good. <laughs> yeah. Liam, are, are me and Munif, are we, are we good to? to jump out of here so y'all can finish yeah we're up. gonna do a, we're gonna do this uh this uh dude, raffle you guys we're are gonna good figure to go. out how to do this but munif it was great bud dude my brother thank you for the opportunity thank munif, you thank you for, 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 for being here we'll bro. have you back yeah. soon man love it all right bye everyone see you peace out shit
Well, don't go. Uh, yeah, yeah, right now somebody took me out too. Said, yeah. <laughs> Gene, you've got to run it by yourself. <laughs> okay, Gene. Okay, Gene. How about this? You have a list of all the people who signed up, right? You just have a list. Yes, I, I don't do. have I can, this list, and so just tell me how many. That list. Okay, so just that list. with that list, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to choose five random numbers on that list. Yeah, right? well, yeah. You know. that, that, that's perfect. Let me get the list. If you want to demo the platform real quick before oh, yeah, let's run it, let's run it, baby. And okay, then, uh, I'll work on the list right now. Okay. And then we'll Yo, where's the Dildo Baggins? We need Dildo Baggins back. Guys, this is the speed to lead platform Dildo right Baggins. here. Take a look at this thing. Take a look at this thing, right? You can come on here, right? You know, how about this? I'll show you get no, because I don't want to give you guys my password. I was gonna say I'll show you the process of signing on signing in. But this here is the main leads page. Super simple. You come in, you search what state you want to do it in, what status, right? You just set your little search terms, your indicators, your filters. And then from there, you just go on and you buy the lead, right? This one, right out of Raleigh, North Carolina, Carborough, North Carolina. You guys got an early bird discount. This one, it's $46 because it's already listed on the market, right? So the price is going to be dependent based upon um, the motivation indicators, right? So look at this one. This one's 254 Then you're wondering, why is this one so much more expensive? So this one. They're moving from the United States. It's not listed, but it's in Tallahassee, Florida, an exceptionally hot market. It's tenant occupied. So this is a this is a uh, this is a motivated landlord or a tired landlord. This is going to be one that's hot. We come down. Let's see, Monroe, North Carolina. This person's upgrading properties in excellent condition. You see, but since this one doesn't have very high motivated motivation indicators, ninety-seven bucks. But if you know, there are tons of people just inside of the Charlotte, North Carolina area that are buying all types of stuff for Section 8 housing. From there, then you've got your My Leads tab, which is all your leads that you've bought. And of course, these are the leads that we bought tonight. You just press the eyeball. It opens them up, which I can't do because I'll give you guys all the information. We've got Auto Buy. Auto Buy is our most fun thing. This here is where you come in and first you choose your geographic settings. Let's say I live in Minnesota. Let's say I want Minnesota, right? Now we bring up our counties. Let's say I just want to do, you know, my home county, Ramsey County. Look at that. We choose that. Then we set our budget. Now I want to do a million dollars. Okay. Now from here, you're guaranteed to get motivated seller, 100% guaranteed off-market leads. Okay. These leads have the highest motivation in the industry, without a doubt. And then they come with insurance too. They're guaranteed to be off-market, not under contract, and that the, that the contact information is correct. So it's not like somebody just randomly filled out our site. They're not even interested in selling. It's some random stuff. You know, it's a scammer, whatever. You're not getting that. Then, of course, you can also choose to get leads that are listed on the MLS. You can choose to get leads that are listed under contract with the wholesaler. So if you've got a good buyer's list, these are awesome. You can get tons of good deals from these. You can get mobile homes. These are fantastic if you know how to move them. And then these are called skip trace leads. And skip trace leads, these are probably the best deal. The reason is, is because these sellers didn't confirm their phone number, but we have a partnership with batch skip tracing. So we get all this extra data tied to each lead. So that's fantastic, right? Then from there, you just put in your card, you press save. And then now, say if I put in a million dollars, you're not charged a million dollars right off the bat. It adds to your balance, right? So it's not hit your card. You're only charged whenever a lead comes through. You're only charged whenever a lead comes through. Then we've got speed to lead premium. This is really fantastic. You'll see when I go to the leads here, they each have these more golden colored stuff on the right-hand side. This is what you get with premium information. So you get the actual zip code, the type of house, the square footage, the year of construction, the beds and baths. This way you can just get much more granular and really cherry pick. Um, then from there, we have CRM integrations. So that way you can just uh, automatically integrate whenever you buy a lead, it'll just zap right over to your CRM. Um, and then this is the coolest part is we've got an affiliate code right here. The affiliate, whenever you sign up, you get 11% of the revenue for each lead that they buy. So like with, uh, with, with RJ, everything, you guys get $50 off for every person you sign up and then uh, 11%. So it's, it's, it's really fantastic. That's the platform. It's so worth it. You guys should sign up. Gene, do you have that list for us, baby? Dude, I do. Dude, Hell that yeah. Was a, that was a beautiful, gorgeous demo. Thank you, sir. Okay, how many How many do we have on that list? So, All right, so we got um, – let me delete the row number one. That way we can do a straight – so you're going to pick some random numbers. I'm going to pick, yeah, uh, five random and, numbers. And let me share the screen just for transparency. Transparency. Well, don't don't share it yet. Share it once I'm uh, share it share it once I've because then so I so I don't see it. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that way that way you know. 
I can hide the names. Actually. It's a, I put it in an Excel sheet. I, I plugged it in. Yeah, Excel. hide the names. Hide the names. Hide the names. Yeah. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. Uh, it's from 1 to 30. So we had 30 people. Ooh, during the show. 1 to 30. Yeah. All right. So obviously, we're going to get number one and number two, right? Is it is it chronologically ordered? No, it's actually the number one and number two are like the last, last people to. to, to okay. Start. Okay. Okay. So we're going to start off with number 30, right? 30 and 29. Those are first two. Because you guys, you guys, day one, you guys sign up right away. So those two. I like the number 13. Okay. So we're going to do 30, 29, 13. Then, you know, I'm 21 years old. We got to do number 21. Okay. So we got 30, 29, 21, 13. And then because they could just squeeze in right through the door, we're going to do number one as well. Uh, All right. Now, now share your screen. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got in here. Let me share it. To, to do. Boom, boom. Yeah, Andres, dude, wait, Andre says, hmm, I need to see this live and in action. Need to see and hear a cold call with you sending a purchase agreement at the end until still a bunch of gurus. Bro. What? It's... Yeah, until just still a bunch of gurus. Andre Martinez, I hope you have a better day, man. I hope your day improves, man. I hope your day gets better and your mood gets better, brother. Cold call. These are not even cold calls. They're 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 inbound leads. This is not cold. Yeah, calls. yeah, dude. No, no, no. But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Rewind the stream like 15 minutes, dude. Rewind the stream 15 minutes. There was just a signed contract live. Like we just had one signed live. <laughs> Dildo Baggins. Until the no. Hey, Gene. Listen, man. Even with a you know multi million dollar platform, we just uh we just some gurus. I, he must, like have, he must a, have showed up late. I'd actually like to be a guru. I'm not, right, I dude. Yeah, that's guru. that seems that seems pretty sweet. Can I be a guru, yeah. please? Someone give me guru status. Thank you. You deserve it, man. You put a lot of work in. Okay, sh share the uh, share the uh, what should we call? Let's see. All right. Okay. So, what were the numbers again? Number oh, one. What was it one? Right. One, thirteen, twenty-one. Yeah. Nineteen and thirty. No, no, twenty-nine and thirty. Uh, relax, boys. I'm pulling all sales. Oh my gosh, dude, you had me. You had me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Hey, trust me, we get some people here that that, that say some stuff. All right, okay. so it's number one, right? Yep. Jared one. Manuel. Jared Manuel, my guy. Jared okay. Manuel here, here, wait, no, Gene, Gene, Gene. So inside the spreadsheet, inside the spreadsheet, bro. Here's here's what you should do. Yes, inside sir. the spreadsheet, just add another row to the left. Yeah. And then we can just uh, because you're giving away these guys information here. Let's do this afterwards. Um, oh, just, oh shit! Yeah. Well, ooh. Huh? Just go back to the hey. spreadsheet. Open the spreadsheet. You're I don't panicking. Think mind, man. It's yeah, all whatever. Good. Let me just do it because you know me, man. If I don't yeah. get done now, so hundred dollars to your bound. Boom, baby. Cha ching. Uh, who next? We got thirteen. Was it number one and number? No, no, no. It was thirteen. Thirteen. All right, 13, jo Giovanni Rualcaba. My guy. Sounds like an Italian name. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Giovanni. My guy, look at that. Bam. 100 bucks on your balance, brother. Congrats. Look at that. Update mm, should change. Arizona. Nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess it's actually a Spanish name. It says El Businessman. <laughs> I like that. El Businessman, my guy. All right, now we got 21. Andre Smith. Mr. Andre Smith. What's up, boss? Hey. Handing out some money. Mr. Andre. Oh, holy shit. There's a bunch of Andre's. Fuck. Oh, there we go. That's the one right here. My Boom. guy. Also, guys, if you want to join our free training community, I'm putting the link in the description right now in the chat. 
We do right, free was... trainings and they're quite frequently. Just click that link. You're going to join. It's called One Club. It's the greatest. Then 29, we got Brody. Brody Callahan. My guy, Brody. Well, I like this giveaway stuff. Man. I like this. Right. Sharing the love. Brody Callahan, 100 bucks. Boom. Congrats. Damn. And we got Adrian Gonzalez. Boom. Gonzalez. Tildo Baggins, what's your name, boss? Did you sign up? Tildo Baggins. Shit. We can give Dil we can give Dildo Baggins some uh some stuff too. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking best name, uh, best YouTube yeah, dude, name. Dildo Baggins, if you're still here, man, just put your name in the chat, and we'll give some to your account. You know that means he's got a YouTube channel, right? That, 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 what's on that YouTube channel? Because I'm about to subscribe. Oh no, Kimberly missed it by just two. I'm so sorry. What? I'm so sorry. You were close. But well, can, do, do we have actually? You know, there's we're so outnumbered with with uh, gentlemen versus. Uh, Versus ladies on this, um, in this industry in general, huh? It's crazy. Yeah, we are. Man. You know, oh man, speak of one of my favorite women in the industry, um, Sonia. She's such hey, a good closer. You know oh, yeah. We're going to get her back Sonya. on soon. Yeah, she's, yeah, some, yeah, she's fantastic. Should. Yeah, she's doing some cool shit too. Hey, you know what, Kimberly? I'm going to give you a premium trial. I'm going to give you a premium trial. There we go, Kimberly, because you were so close. Your account, you're going to get a 30 day trial for premium, so you can just Actually, get all the I extra think, information. Forgive me. I think it's two weeks, but. It's, oh, okay. Uh, it's two weeks now. Or maybe, yeah. Oh, no. I think it's uh, whatever it is for a while, you're going to have premium. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's it's a month. You know, you're right, Liam. It's I a think month. it's 30 days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a month. So you're going to see a whole bunch more stuff. Uh, and actually, sometimes I, throw in, sometimes I throw in coupons for just the premium members. Boom. Dildo, just give us, or if you if you don't want to put it out here because you you don't want Dildo to be tied to your name, just DM me on Instagram. Oh man, I don't know who it is. Send a screenshot that you you're on the Dildo Baggins account on Instagram. Liam B closing. I'll be checking that right now. You have... Dennis, Dennis, don't worry. We give out so many crazy deals when you're a member on Speed to Lead. Just watch your email, watch your push notifications, watch your SMS notifications. I, I probably give out like 30 grand in coupons every fucking week on Speed Delete. So don't worry if you don't win. Better luck next time. Just, who cares about $100? Go go get go get your next deal. That's what. Get $10,000. Yeah. <laughs> John says, I'll be dildo. <laughs> it's so fantastic. I'm checking. I'm waiting for a DM, man. I'm waiting for a DM. What? Um, From a dildo baggins. <clears throat> I got inside information that it's somebody by the name of Chad. Oh. Who's um? Was that Elijah? Was that a uh, rumor? Is it uh, you? We're just breaking his balls, too. I mean, I I definitely came up with a rumor myself. Nice, <laughs> dude. How was the show, man? It was. This was fantastic, crazy. man. So many good moments. So yeah, many good you moments. This? I'm unbelievable. So I mean, I'm here, dude. I. Oh, gee, you know my name. <laughs> okay, dude, dude. What's your last name? Then we can just look up your account. Chad, what? I just sent Liam Benson some balance too. That was a badass Dude, gotta, show. Gotta reset my balance. Account for what? For speed delete, bro. 
Okay. Chad Cowick. Chad Cowick. Give him some balance. Give Mr. Chad some balance. Chad Cowick. Chad Cowick for, for, for him. <laughs> Chad, Chad Cowick's getting uh, $50. dollars $50. But I don't see him in uh, in the users. Yeah, I don't think he's registered. Oh well, then no balance for him. Rest yeah, in peace. No, no balance. All right. This is a badass show. This is one of my favorite shows. I can't. I, it wasn't hostile or not. That's awesome. I know, man. Munif was, was just too right. nice. Munif was just too right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's, it's it's not hey, not the sellers though. He's not nice. That guy, <laughs> that guy is like zero remorse. I think that's what the game is missing, man. Like a lot of people feel uncomfortable about like telling him like, hey, this is not gonna work. But both RJ and and Monif are like super super. Uh, they don't give a shit. Wow. They're but hard, in man. Way, in their own different way. Everybody's got their own unique little bit of style. It's fantastic. There's like a hundred people still hanging out here. I know, right? <laughs> If somebody buys, if somebody 10, buys leads, 10 leads, what's the average contract slash deal percentage if you guys know? So it depends on how good you are at closing. So what we tracked for RJ over the course of the show, and now this is without any follow-up. This is just one-off calls. He closed one out of seven. And those are leads that like were old, that were that were already sold a couple times. For quite a while, we were only doing clearance leads um, before we decided to kind of up the show quality value and show you guys the platform live and all that stuff. Um, so he was getting one in seven. If you're really cherry picking and you're able to close pretty well and you have good follow-up systems, you can probably get that even lower. Um, you can probably get that even lower. Yeah, and um, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Like, This is the only place in the world, in the industry, where you can get inbound leads without signing up and, and having a bunch of commitment. So... Um, just freaking, yeah, we'll get some, bro. And um, for those of you still complaining, there's <laughs> people still, still, they, they, still, they just don't know the business. I mean, no, no, no. I'm, still actually, I'm talking about the people that are like talking about. So, all right, so coupon show 50 50. Coupon show 50 50 will get you $50 off of any lead on the platform for the next three hours. Show okay. 50. Coupon show 50 50. It'll give you 50% off any lead. Okay. Dude, there's this so many questions. This is awesome. Okay. Should... So let me let me answer some of these. So what's a good uh, talk to off talk off to leads that are listed? I, I'm going to kind of interpret that question a little bit there. Like, how do you talk to leads that are listed? So you got to come up to them with a unique value proposition that they don't already have with their realtor. Okay. So here's the thing. The realtor is going to be a middleman in the situation. So the problem with this is that you're usually going to want to... Um, you want to target leads that are listed if they've been on the market for a while. Um, once they've been on the market for a while, that's how you can get a wholesale price. But if you're able to come in and if a, if a real estate agent or if a homeowner is listing their leads on our site and they want a cash offer, that means somebody isn't doing their job properly. So you can assume that there's higher intent than their listing is working properly. If their listing were working properly, they wouldn't be filling out cash offer forms online, right? That's just not something that would happen. So these can oftentimes be really good creative deals. Or if you're just good at negotiation and you understand that you do need to work with the agent and kind of make them understand that this is going to be a partnership that they're going to get paid, make sure that they know they're going to get paid, then oftentimes you can come to a deal for quite a discount on the platform. It, it's a huge discount. It's like a 10x discount on listing. 90% off, yeah. It's a crazy, yeah. 
Lucas says, what's the difference between I speed to lead and normal PPC? There is insurance on our leads. They're guaranteed to be off market and not under contract, right? So here's the thing. We also run dedicated ad campaigns. That's, that's one of, that's one half of our business model. We do dedicated ad campaigns. We manage over $5 million a year in ad spend for over 60 clients. So we're experts in that field too. What is nice about the speed to lead platform is that you have the ability to A, be very picky and choosy. You can pick and choose exactly what you want and only what you want. And B, you can have that insurance knowing that it's going to be off market and it's not going to be under contract with the wholesaler quite yet, right? Because those things you're going to get a refund. specifically in your counties. And specifically, yeah. Regular PPC, yeah. You can, it's, it, it's, it's an art, not a science. With a regular PPC campaign, let's say somebody has a VPN on Let's say somebody is physically in New York right now, but their property is in New Mexico, right? Those are all things that there's going to be leads coming into your pipeline that seem weird, right? So, yeah. Well, if, if you want regular PPC, we, we, we have like 70 companies that we do it for. A, a dedicated PPC campaign makes sense for people who want quality and volume. The only problem with speed to lead is now you're at the will of our system and whether or not we generate enough leads. Auto buy is a really excellent way to bridge the gap if you want that volume. Um, but a dedicated PPC campaign is going to be the top tier way if you really want high volume. Um, that's just something though that you probably need around five thousand dollars a month to reasonably consider it being an excellent option. So you can't really get into it, you know, for a thousand dollars, two thousand, three thousand maybe if you're doing a nationwide campaign. But anything below that, then you're probably just going to be throwing your money at a at, into a pit. Yeah, for PPC, yep, Dennis is right. And some of our customers have a, their own, them, a managed campaign that we manage for them. And, and then they also buy. load up on, on Speed to Lead. And if you want a managed campaign, if you want our team to manage your campaign, schedule a call with Liam. Yeah, um, yeah I'll put the link if you guys are interested in learning more about a managed campaign and uh, about our, our, well, it's actually it's called our managed partnership. Oh, yeah, and there's a new thing that's even crazier. Mm -hmm. So just go to that there, and you guys can take a look at the website. Um, just the only ask that I have is that if, if you don't quite have a budget to do a PPC campaign, um, it's, it's probably not worth your time to schedule. Just make sure you understand that. Yeah, don't waste Liam's time, please. If you're, if you're broke, I've been broke. I'm not talking shit about you. Figure out how to, like... You know, wait for some deals on Speed to Lead. There's some coupons that, that fly around here and there. Um, if you're not broke, don't act like you're broke because that's actually going to slow you down. Um, if you spend if money not, to make money, look, yeah. there's two there's two ways to make money in any business. You can leverage your capital or you can leverage your time. One or the other, right? Let's talk about a really time leveraged way to get deals. Driving for dollars, right? You are limited by how much you can literally drive around and get leads. Right. There's no capital leverage in that unless you hire somebody to do the driving for you. Same with list pulling, right? List pulling. It's just a more efficient way of driving for dollars. Right. All these are just different ways to leverage time and then also leverage capital. So once you have funds, right, the, 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 where PPC sits is the most capital leverage thing. You're going to be only getting motivated inbound leads. So it's the best quality. Um, but it, it's going to be at your capital leverage. But when you look at all the top investors, every single one of them are running heavy marketing campaigns. That's they're, they're you know, if you're looking at the top teams, they're not list pulling nowadays. It's not worth their time. They've got to staff that out massively, and they most teams want to run light. So Lucas Selga says, "How does it work? Do you guys partner with landing pages for leads? All of our landing pages are custom developed. That's something that we've spent the better part of a decade getting down is our conversion pages. We have the highest converting conversion pages in the industry. I've never seen somebody who even comes close to our, uh, our, our it's called CTR, our click through rate. Um, so we only have custom stuff. And so we currently manage all of it for speed to lead as well as for our, uh, our managed ads. We don't partner with any other landing pages. Sometimes we'll, it will, we will partner with an investor lift web lift form if you guys use that. Um, but that's only on a case by case basis. We, we much prefer to use ours because they just convert so exceptionally well. Yeah, I want to take a thousand a month for PPC leads in my state only and look to close deals on those. I'd recommend taking a look at auto buy. Auto buy starts at 2000 a month. Um, in terms of what budget you need. If you're going to do a thousand a month, then just wait for, you know, wait for coupons um, and just cherry pick really high quality leads. Like if you see a $400 lead come through, that looks perfect. It's probably worth going for.
if, it, if, if it's all your parameters that you'd want, right, it's just going to leverage your time massively. Yeah, I work 60 plus hours a week, so I want to use my nine to five money to get PPC lists. That makes sense. That makes sense. Does anybody else have any really cool, fun questions while we're here? Because if not, I think we can probably call it. But if you guys got questions just about real estate in general, sales, Simba. closing, whatever. Simba, that's one way to look at it. 60 plus hours a week. What do you do, man? I would figure out. So like you're using your nine to five money to get PPC leads. Okay. But I, I bet you it would take you like a week or two to figure out a plan to get paid a lot more at that nine to five. And then use that difference for PPC leads. Just throwing that out there. It's kind of what I did at my job. And then I still left my fucking job, even though they gave me a raise. You know, sometimes it just comes down to like you, you got to make a decision, right? Actually, before I, uh, you know, aligned myself with speed to lead, I was still doing my, uh, my consulting for inside sales for brokerages. Um, and I remember, yeah, the day that I, uh, the day that I quit, um, man, that was a good feeling. I remember I called Gene as I was walking out and I was like, hey, man, I'm done. I'm done with it. And, and Lee was being modest. He, he he didn't just align himself with speed. He fucking just went all in on on entrepreneurship and, and just doing really cool shit, connecting with people that are like – just top the coolest people in the industry. Yeah, exactly. Being uncomfortable and like all that. Just absolutely. Dude, absolutely. Somebody says the coupon not working. Make sure you're using no caps. Which one? Which which coupon? I don't think Set, the caps Show 50-50. Show 50-50. Let me, show, let me make sure I didn't fuck it up. Okay. So leads, leads, are, leads are priced based on quality. Yep. On iSpeed, the leads are based on quality indicators. So what we call a motivation indicators. We have an internal, it's like a motivation score that's going to take into account what their time frame is, whether or not it's listed, what their mortgage status is, um, what the condition of the property is, and then what the actual things are that they chose um, for why they're looking to sell. So yeah, it, it, it takes all into account. Now. I forget to shut, I forgot to turn it on. My apologies. I created okay, it the coupon's good to go. Do you guys prefer Google over Facebook leads or how do the inbound percentages look? That's a really Same good question. Fucking thing. Crazy. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Closing rate, deal rate. Same fucking thing for Facebook and Google. Like they're not different. It, unbelievable. Well, well there's, a, there's, there, there's a nuance to it. There's a nuance to it, right? If you're doing your own campaign, Facebook on a lead to lead basis is cheaper. So you get more volume, right? And with that extra volume, you get the same ROI. On a one-to-one -one lead basis, like if you're just going to choose one Google and one Facebook and you had no idea what the motivation indicators were beforehand, like you didn't have a chance to read the lead, oh. then mm -hmm. you'd probably want to choose a Google, right? Very but good. you can take a look at it with, on our platform. You can take a look at what they filled out beforehand and then determine their motivation from there. Yeah, because people still there, people still buy more Google leads than, than Facebook leads by a small percentage, but, but like it's noticeable. Um, so, so in other words, but still like not more leads, I, th I think at a higher percentage, higher percentage of Google leads get sold out than Facebook leads, but Facebook leads, we still sell a shitload of them, like more than anything else on the platform. But yeah, like people do cherry, do cherry pick them more because there's more inside Facebook leads that stuff that doesn't look motivated, but like the guys, the guy today that closed from RJ um he's he, he that lead did not look motivated actually yeah the, that, was, that, was a, that was a pretty cheap lead the motivation indicators weren't that high and sometimes it's just about taking chances let's see so he said that's cool i'm a loan officer at rocket mortgage so wholesale time isn't much Ooh. i make over but all right so let, let me tell you this right now right now think of your time at rocket mortgage as you are building a skill set just yesterday, I talked to a team of guys in California who they left their MLO job that they had uh, created their the MLO business where they, I think that they said that uh, them as a team had closed over 300 transactions and then they made the jump into, uh, into wholesaling full time in January. <laughs> Since January, they've closed 18 contracts with an average assignment fee of, uh, of uh, 
I think they said 10,000 or like between eight and a half and 10,000. So let's just say it's 10,000 per that's 180,000 in five months, huge difference. And they're just getting started. They're just getting started. So what they said, their unique edges is that when they get something under contract, a, they already know the sales. And assuming if you're making 10 K a month, closing loans, you know how to close deals, but now you also know how to get transactions across the table. You know the the you know the title better than anybody else. You know how that process goes. Use that to your advantage. Create unique advantages for yourself using that skill set. And here's the thing: you mentioned you're you're like you're making over 10k a month, right? Let's just say for 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 you know the sake of this conversation, you're making 10k a month, 120k a year, right? That's pretty decent money for most people. But you're putting in 60 hours a week, right? That's 240 hours a month. Let's multiply that here. I mean. 240, 12, you're working almost 3,000 hours a year to get 120,000, all right? 120,000 divided by um, 3,000 hours, you're getting like 40 bucks an hour, right? I personally think with the sales skill set, as good as yours probably is, you're worth more than 40 bucks an hour. I think you're probably worth more than 40 bucks an hour. I think if you put 60 hours a month into whole or 60 hours a week into wholesaling, you would be making significantly more capital because you're a business owner at that point. Rocket Mortgage doesn't need to take their cut. You make your own margins. I would take a look at lean, or scaling back. You know, Even if you drop down to 7K a month, can you survive on that? Probably. Make sure you're saving the majority of your funds and put the extra time into wholesaling, replace your income, and make the jump. The guy we just had on, Munif, he was a cybersecurity engineer. Okay? If you know anything about cybersecurity engineers, and Gene actually does because he led a team of cybersecurity engineers, they make really good money. They make exceptional money. He completely replaced his income in real estate in less than a year. You can do that too. It is more than doable. It is more than doable. Show 50-50 is supposed to remove 50%. Yeah, but long live Simba. I think your skill set is worth more than $40 an hour. Value yourself more and put it into more, um, just leverage the capital you're generating now and put it into better tasks. And that way you can start leveraging that capital, build yourself a business that will replace that, uh, that nine to five or actually, I mean, what it's like, a, it's not even a nine to five. That's like nine to eight, 12 hours a day, five days a week. Awesome. Does anybody else have any cool questions? I'm sure some of you guys do. This is crazy how many people ask questions after the show. We always kind of just close out, but look at that. That was very valuable that uh, you stayed back and got to answer some of these. How do you market a landing page used by ad space for target market? How do you target the sellers? I'm just curious as to how your side of the business works. So I mean, a landing page, that's just going to be like, you, there's, there's two sides. You're generating the eyeballs, you're converting the eyeballs, right? The generation of the eyeballs, you can do that through a number of different ways, right? You can run a YouTube ad, you can run a Facebook ad, you can run um, Google AdWords, Google discovery ads, right? So then from there, you just target, yeah, you, you just choose your target markets where you want that ad to be seen. And then you run it from there. Um, People click on the ad, they get redirected to your website. And then from there, your website has to, your landing page, right? Has to be set up in a way that will get people to fill in their information. It has to be enticing enough. That's where the skills of copywriting comes in. So you have to be a good copywriter. And um, actually website performance is exceptionally important too. What's really important for us is that our page load speeds rank in the 99th percentile, um, which means that out of a hundred websites, um, ours is going to be the very best in terms of page load speed because people are going to click. People are looking for any opportunity to give up on your page. So if you have something that just loads through perfectly fast, um, they're never going to have any problems and it's going to increase your conversion rate exponentially. The entire user experience just has to be perfect um, in order to get an exceptionally high click through rate. That's why carrot websites aren't very good. The user experience isn't very good. The copywriting isn't very good. So the conversion rate on a carrot website is between like five to 7%. That's how you market a landing page. Yeah. Just bought a lead that closed as of yesterday. How do I get that credit back? Just email support at ispeeddelete.com. What, 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 what happened with it? Uh, it closed as of yesterday. So oh, closed. you just bought it today? Yeah. Oh. You get that. 
You should have bought it yesterday is what you should have done. Because <laughs> um, I, I guarantee you it's not a brand new lead. You bought an older lead. Gene, Gene, you messed oh. up on the coupon code. It's only deducting $50, not 50%. That's what I said. Oh, was, shit. My bad. My bad. I was wrong. Okay, okay. Oh. It deducts 50%. At $50. Oh. That's my yeah. that's my fault. Oh, oh, I was wrong. No, not 50%. No, no. 50 bucks. That's my apologies, guys. And I guess then, yeah, how do you target the sellers? Um, based upon lookalike audiences, keyword targeting, key phrase matching. Oh, yeah, key, key, yeah, like, dude, massive efforts. Like, everything we learned in our agency for five years, running this stuff for a ton of wholesalers, we deployed here. Keywords. You got to spend a lot of money and fail. You have to spend a lot of money figuring out what works and what doesn't is the way to figure out what a good target for sellers is. That's that's what it comes down to. How yeah. many hundreds of thousands do you think you've spent trying to get a good model for sellers? Dude, millions, not hundreds. Like over time, it, it adds up. Yeah. This speed to lead thing, we kind of beta tested this way back last summer. No, like even like COVID time, maybe. And then um, it was called Legal Deals. We called it Legal Deals. And we set it up on this forum. It was like this forum where we set it up and we, we started spending money on, a, on on leads. And we quickly understood that, like, dude, you can't just spend money on, like, random ass leads and then expect people to JV and, and be, like, follow up with it and all that. We, we did, it like, a JV model. It was like, no, 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 dude, we got we to sell these. Um, yeah, support at ispeedtolead.com, Ray. Uh, send them an email with uh, just a screenshot of that. That Well, either a screenshot that that lead is listed or uh, they're going to give you instructions on what to do, basically. Just email support. Top end guys making over a 1 million year closing loans. I mean, like, top end, just, just think of where it tops out. Top end guys making a million and what they have teams. So they probably get, you know, affiliate commission from that. Um, all the referral stuff. There's a lot of different ways they're, they're supplementing their income versus just doing that. Top end guys and wholesaling are making tens of millions. <laughs> Dildo Baggins closes it out. Hope my name wasn't offensive to anyone. <laughs> oh man. We appreciate you, dude. We appreciate you to the max. Awesome. All right, guys, I need to go get food. And uh, you guys have been fantastic. I appreciate it. But... You've been fantastic. This oh, thank you, Gene. Awesome, thank man. you, Gene. This was a good show, wasn't it? This was amazing. This was, I think we beat the, beat the numbers. I think this beat the, this beat the Aaron Bevins numbers. Oh, easy. But yeah. also to close it out, guys, make sure you guys are joining the free Discord group, discord.gg slash closer. There's the link. Make sure you guys join because we do training sessions all week. If you guys want to come and learn how to close, we had RJ on. We have other systems experts on. We're having a dispositions expert on very shortly. Um, all free training for you and your business. So there's literally no reason not to join. If you don't join, you're just saying that you don't like free, high-quality training. Like, like, I give the sales training – if you were a team, I'm charging you minimum $6,000 a month. So just throwing that out there. Dildo, we, we, I can't believe I fucking, I can't believe I'm uh, calling, talking talk, to Dildo. I'm talking Mr. to Dildo. saying Dildo. <laughs> um, you weren't signed up for the site, bro. Mr. Baggins, I, I, we didn't, couldn't find your username in the, neither your email nor your last name. We could not find it in the user list on the platform. So we could we couldn't throw you anything for your amazing, amazing name. Do deal, yeah. Uh, I wasted my coupon. It's spending. May I have another one? Worth a shot. Uh, Doesn't it work? Does it work still, for only once? Uh, the which? Show fifty fifty. Show fifty fifty. Show fifty fifty. Uh, let me see. Uh, I'll, I'll make it work twice. It, from from now on, it works twice. There you go. You got one more, bro. You got one more. Okay, guys, we're going to close it out here. Peace. Are you looking to implement pay-per-click?